we made it to, gosh, what is it? <gasps> oh my gosh, oh, all the, all the subscribes. Thanks, guys. Uh, Why does that still make you laugh, Tasha? I don't know. It's like I'm, <laughs> the lowest hanging joke that I can do. I know. <laughs> I will get you that OnlyFans command at some point. Thank you. You're welcome. Please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know uh, what OnlyFans is. So. Yeah, I'm, huh. so, I'm so glad that you got caught up on that piece not, of uh, <laughs> social media surprising. goodness. Um, yeah, okay, if you're new to the stream, I'm sorry. We haven't even played the TVMA yet. I actually. If you're new to of, OnlyFans. If you're <laughs> good luck. Uh, yeah. You have fun with that. Uh, yeah, okay, I will go ahead and do our TVMA, and then I'll, I'll pop this back. The following D&D campaign is rated TVMA LSVEP. It contains strong language, sexual situations, violence, extreme nerdiness, and proper naughty behavior. It is intended only for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. It's weird. That does. What Dollar what sign parentheses tweet. Oh. Uh, um, you hold up. I didn't get into Nightbot last night. Oh. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> there is there are too many things dance away right now there's a lot of moving parts that we're trying to handle um a lot let's... of moon parts <gasps> for fuck's sake it is a night i gotta go downstairs and get my dice i'll be right back okay everybody roll we'll just oh that's right uh, guys, let's just tell her we all rolled the same number <laughs> we all rolled the same so then we all get it chat oh, don't tell no. on us we all rolled six no, I'll actually roll. Oh, I should probably load D and D Beyond. I know one of those guys is gonna fucking paddle on us. Oh, no, they Wait, wouldn't. Are we doing? Oh, are we doing that? Let's see. I'm gonna look at who in the chat. Yeah, oh, like Danny would totally paddle on us. Yeah. No way. 100%. Yeah, for sure. Danny for sure. would totally JM, paddle on us. JM Reedy would would paddle as well. Yeah. yeah. So would that stuff, Skyle's art. Oh man. <laughs> Where are my die? I'm so glad I packed up all of my dice for Friday night when I couldn't play with you guys. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Oh, sh okay, what's Is that your toolbox full of dice? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me lock <laughs> it for you so you can see it. Hold on. Victoria's no, not joking. Fuck, <laughs> dude. Well, you know, uh,. Yeah, it's not all my dice. It's just my like plastic dice. It's not any of my good dice. And then uh, it makes it so much easier when I go play, you know, IRL mm -hmm. when there's not a pandemic. I can just take my little. Mm -hmm. Throw it in your pickup. Yeah. And all <laughs> over there. My Fiat. <laughs> yeah. It's the size of my backseat. Um, okay. Uh, what you guys got oh. for uh, rolls, friends? Eliana got an eight. Eight, okay. A two for Derek Bardson. Two. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. And, uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh wait, hold on. Math. Uh, I think Jules gets it because I rolled a thirteen. Yes. That's how math works. All right. Is it? Sweet. Uh, only on Sundays. Um. All right. Roll. Complete. TMA. Complete. Recap. Let's complete. do this. I complete. did that while you were gone. Oh, did you now? That's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. Eloquently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you gave it away there, Emilio. Very poetic. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Right. Okay, I'm ready when y'all are. Go for it. Okay. Uh, last week on Obsidian Scar, uh, we prepared to battle an aboleth, a giant evil knotfish who stole our memories and it's probably really rude, but I don't remember it. Uh, but uh, at the last moment, uh, before we got to him, Maeve teleported us all away. Uh, perhaps with some act of kindness, perhaps because she's evil. Well, I just have to wait and see if we run into her again. Uh, and uh, and that was kind of... That was the end of the, uh, you know adventuring adventuring and then a different sort of adventure began a a proper naughty adventure the type of adventures that we do best which is going to dinner <laughs> so so we all went out to dinner with rodrigo uh and then we we, 
we just talked about life, the universe, and everything, and then went and had some drinks. And then, uh, because we are uh, all 12, we played spin the bottle afterward, and much kissing ensued. Uh, and that, that, that's what you missed last week. If you well, were here. For uh, fair, for fair, uh, Ileana didn't had never played spin the bottle, so yes. that's why we started playing spin the bottle that's in a jazz right. club. In a jazz club. Right. You never said it was wasn't a jazz club. Ja no, it wasn't yeah. actually a jazz club. Yeah. Yes, it was. That's what you said you wanted, so I said, okay, oh, wow. it's a jazz club. Okay, okay, and yes. The jazzy yes. Oh. It was like a little jazzy, a little jazz. I mean, it was not the speakeasy Perfect. that the crew on Tuesday night went to. Um, Perfect. But, yeah, yeah. Liana would have got her jazz on. Love it. You said a dance club. He dance tried to bring club. you somewhere. He tried to bring you. Oh. I don't know why there's an echo. It doesn't sound like it anymore. Okay. That was real weird. Anyway, um, uh, yeah. He tried to bring you somewhere seedy. You said absolutely not. <laughs> he begrudgingly brought you to a jazz bar. He was dressed fancy, y'all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> God. Yes. Oh, oh, man. It's about the juxtaposition, you guys. It's about looking nice, you mm -hmm. know, like. A shithole. Mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. no, You're that no. bridal party that's at that shitty bar after the, the reception. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Recap. Beautiful recap, Stephen. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So unless there was something else you guys wanted to accomplish that evening, um, I will um, go ahead and say that you made your way back uh, home to the uh, Honest Gorgon, the inn that you've been staying in. Um, you did see uh, Maeve Brielle chatting with um, Helen, you know, up at the bar. It was late. They waved. You can move on. Um, but anything else you guys wanted to do that night before the next morning? No? I don't think so. I think Ileana would probably be pretty wiped out from drinking, so since she's not used to drinking a lot. Sure. Yeah. yeah, there was yeah. a lot of drinking. There were shots before Rodrigo's, there was Rodrigo's, there was mm -hmm. the bar after got, Rodrigo's. And we, and we bought like all the shots mm -hmm. at the bar, mm -hmm. at the jazz club. Mm -hmm. so. The rainbow mm -hmm. shots, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think that I became equally intoxicated in real life as Derek became intoxicated. <laughs> uh oh. And my memory mm -hmm. suits that. Method acting, I get it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and fast forward to the next morning. Uh, what are you all doing? Um, <laughs> Ileana's probably down eating breakfast, um, probably looking pretty rough. Okay. Hmm. But probably reading something. Okay. Uh, Victoria, I'm sorry. I would have asked, or I should have asked, oh, yeah. could Lenick and Jules have worked on the book at all? Ooh, um, I would say it would make you either stay, uh, like sleep in later, or you'll have to take a point of exhaustion because of how late you guys were out drinking. Uh, well, sleep in later. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, actually, just roll a, a straight d20 for me really fast. Sure. Let me pull up Lennox stuff. Uh... Ten. Ten. Oh, come on, Lennox. Are you very smart? No, I'm really smart. I know. I'm the smart for... one. <laughs> I know. This Lennox's for... the pretty one. Lennox is the pretty one. Uh, um, no, no. Yeah, Lennox the hot, dumb one. I'm. I was having you roll to see if Lennox was smart enough to remember that. Um, you showed Maeve the book, and Maeve said she could help things go a lot faster. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I gotta pull up his sheet to see. I mean, it was, what, the night before? Well, we had been drinking. So yeah, you had been so. drinking. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, he's fairly in his intelligence. Way. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he would probably mention, too, if he wanted to have her help, um, she could help things go a little bit faster, you know, if you want. If you want. But if you want to keep it just the two of you, that's fine too. Oh, yeah, I have no problem. 
talking with Maeve about okay. it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Maeve will help you. She only has to uh, meditate for four hours, so it's not like you're cutting into her night. Um, okay. Let's say, go ahead and roll your... Um, you do the Arcana check to help make it easier, right? I should be able to do more, because now oh, I know more Oh, you've got your... Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you... Taking a look at the book, you know that the Draconic is a lot harder than the Sylvan, because the Draconic is much older. Um, so it's up to you. Do you feel like, having worked with... Lennox, do you think, uh, now that you know Draconic, do you think it would be easier for you to do that instead of him? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah. let's do this. Uh, let me open up that document. See, I had the Cazadocian passive, but not the TOS magic items open. Hold on. Um, I think it's going to be an investigation check. Uh, let's see. And then I'll have him make the Arcana check to make it easier for you. I can't do both. Let's see here. You know what? I will actually have Maeve Riel do the Arcana check for you. How? Okay. Her, her passive Arcana <laughs> beasts the DC. We'll put it that way. So, okay. yeah, there's, like, so what'll happen is if you can make an investigation check for me with, you have advantage to do so. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, she just got a 33 on her <laughs> arcana check for you. So I got 23. 23. So that makes it... Okay, so I would actually say because um, it would your check would just barely not hit, but because her Arcana check was so high, I'm gonna go ahead and let it pass. Uh, oh, okay. You were like, you're like, so close to, to hitting. So, um, okay. let's see here. Uh, and you've got, oh, you've got two of you. Let me, let me just roll. No way, okay. I just rolled two nat 20, so I'm gonna let you get a bunch of shit. Okay, let's see here. All right, so the last thing you learned was Boon of Resilience, right? So now you know that there is a... Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Are you wanting to just do the eight titles, or are you wanting to, um, like, the next eight titles, or are you wanting to do actual all spells? I... I I lost my notes that had all of them, but um, okay. there was one that raised, we had like 10 figured out, right? You have, uh, let's just do a little recap scene. So you, yeah. you know the uh, boon, you have a lot. You know the boon of combat prowess, uh, mm -hmm. boon of dimensional travel, yeah. of fate, fortitude, high magic, which you know all of the details of high magic. Yeah. Immortality. Invincibility, uh, irresistible offense, uh, luck, magic resistance, ma master tactician, which you know everything about that one. Mm -hmm. uh, pact, the boon of pact making. Do I know about fate? I thought that was the one that I was um, just Oh, realized. right, right, right. Let's see. The one that gives you uh, ability scores, I believe. Um, the power uh, no, that's, uh, fate is letting you, like, bend fate. The one you're thinking oh, okay. of is partial divinity. So that's, the, so Got it's it. pack making, so partial divinity increases a single attribute to 30. So that one you know about. Uh, so there's peerless aim, perfect health, planar travel, quick casting, yeah. uh, recovery, and resilience. So those are the ones that you know, the titles cool. of so far. Well, since Dan isn't here to dispute it, we'll work on the parts of the entity. Okay. We'll work on finding out what we need for that. Oh, okay. You actually, you know everything you need. You've got oh. that one. Yeah, that one you're you're oh, good okay. to go. Yeah, that I one you're good we to go. I knew what it was. We didn't know what we had to do. Uh, you know, 
what it was. Victoria just hasn't sent you like what the crazy components are. Got it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you, your character does have that information. So. Okay. Um, well, in that case, I know that Lennox wanted to know about the immortal. Uh, was it the immortality one? Uh huh. He or wanted to it... know about immortality, so we'll say that one is. Yeah, I think so. Finished. Um. So then you can either, um, learn the titles of seven more, or you can um, continue to. Like learn the information of others. Um. We'll learn seven more. All right, you got it. So I can tell, I can tell the, the crew about them. Yeah. See if anyone's interested. Um, actually, let me... Shit. Why don't I roll like this when I play as a character? Um, okay. Uh, you know... Resurrection. Uh, there's a call, oh, called a boon of resurrection, um, which Mae will tell you she thinks it helps you when you're trying to, uh return a soul um, hmm. to a body. Okay. There's a boon of skill proficiency, um, which she guesses will help you gain proficiency in, in like, all the skills. Um, there's a boon of speed. I'm counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. A boon of speed. A boon of spell mastery. Um, a boon of spell recall. They're in alphabetical order. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. okay. Uh, boon of Titan's grip. And uh, the boon of the arcane savant. Okay. And I will say you can pick one of those if you want um, to know uh, more about. Titan's grip for sure. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you can wield a heavy or two-handed weapon in one hand and use a two-weapon fighting such as uh, with such weapons. Um, also, any creature under a CR-10 automatically fail any checks to avoid your grapples. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So you, cool. you, you be BP. Cool. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. She will help you do that. And then you'll have to just sleep in a little bit. But, um, yeah. you know, you now have that information. All right. Tori, did you see my message in Zoom? I just saw that. What? What? Don't you yeah. fix it. There's like this weird that like ghost video so behind, weird. behind the video. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay, wait a second. Okay. I have no idea how you even did that. I don't even know. I think know. it's because he has, um, oh wait. That's really oh, great. Oh, That's it's my idea. fault. It's my no, fault. No, no, it's not your fault. What is you gotta going start on? poking him. Give what him is going ears. on? All of these are no. just... okay. Hold on. Okay, that's me. Am I a ghost somewhere? Okay, I found yeah. the ghost. Are we all ghosts? Uh, okay, so there's. I'm gonna be a ghost. Hold on. Okay, that one I need. Yeah, this one. Two. Okay, I'm just gonna turn that off because that looks okay. That one's off. Okay, I need that one. Okay, I think we're good. That was really fun, and I want to do that more often. <laughs> From now very on, we're going to start getting very, ghosts. Very Halloween. Yeah. It's because you're using a, a fake background, so it's, you know, it, the the virtual background, so it's letting... I had heard another Zoom video up underneath of you, so oh. it, mm -hmm, So because of the virtual background, it was letting you Got see it. her move behind you. So if I, if I add that, do I get a ghost? Well, no, I turned off all of the extra <laughs> Zoom yeah, backgrounds. Taking... Yeah. 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 Why do you hate me? I'm There's sorry. So many I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let's get it. Alright. Asha, you know we love you. We all love you and we all appreciate you. We don't hate you. We don't hate you. We far from hate we you. We just don't want you to be a ghost. Yet. <laughs> Yet. It's fine. It's oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What? My mom was having a um a boomer moment earlier and could not send me a picture and oh, I just got nice. all 17 attempts <laughs> at sending this picture. <laughs> wow. 17. 17 attempts. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, alright. I'm so sorry. We're back. Uh, so yeah, so maybe we'll help you do that before bed. You head to bed. You'll probably wake up probably um, about like 9 or 10 uh, would be oh. the earliest you could wake up. 
Um, all right, so Ileana is downstairs uh, having um, a uh, little tea. Probably with a cup of coffee in oh, front of her. Oh, coffee, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we all curled up. You probably would have seen, um, <clears throat> now she would have, you know, smiled and, and waved, but not expected you to come over. But you probably would have seen Maeve uh, in one of the corners having Druid crafted herself a little, like, comfortable egg chair out of flowers. And she's, like, all curled up with a little book in the corner. So, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. She's only got to sleep four hours. She's fine. Uh, all right. How about you, Derek? What are you up to? I think at this point, uh, Derek has had enough rough nights mm. that he knows he needs to find some some water mm -hmm. and some carbs. Of uh, mm -hmm. So, so he's going to head uh, to the nearest place to do that. Was there? I don't. I don't remember if there's a restaurant in this. Uh, yeah, there. Establishment. There is. So you'll come downstairs. You'll see Maeve in a corner in her little flower yeah. chair. You'll see Ileana um, at a table. Um, and you can go up to the bar and order, or you can go sit down, and you'll you'll know Her Helen will come out. Um, Helen or um, Dirk will come out and serve you yeah, some yeah. breakfast. I, I would go uh, sit with my friends. I think if there was a spot and mm -hmm. they didn't cast me, that look that says "No, nah, man, no." Nah. Mm -hmm. Would we ever? Derek, good morning. <laughs> good morning. I'm sort of plop down and hold my head. And he's scratch around my ears. How you, how you feeling this morning? As I, rough as I am? I probably did. I didn't do anything embarrassing, did I? Mm, not that I remember, no. Were there any, you know, whisper, deep gnomes? I, I wasn't really paying attention, so, uh, okay. not really sure. Um, okay. And do you feel deep numbed? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a fair question. I mean, you. I, I would, uh, no, I. I'm I would hope there'd be some about. kind of. I don't know. I mean, does it leave you feel in a certain way? I don't know. Uh, I. No. I don't think I'm I want tired. to talk about this with you. I, I changed my mind already. Yeah. 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 Uh, but the headache. <laughs> I was saying my head. Yeah. The headache. Uh, then I'll start looking for uh, whoever is serving, whether it be Helen or Dirk. Okay, yeah. Uh, you'll see Dirk oh, come around cool. at some point and um, uh, take your order. Uh, unless there's something weird. He'll bring you some. Okay, and you like the just, coffee and tea, for sure. Okay, uh, Derek Bard sent mm -hmm. a bunch of water and, uh, and a, a whole loaf of bread oh. with some jam. Absolutely. A, a whole loaf? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. So he'll bring out a, a Derek Bardson, uh, beautifully balanced, because they've learned your taste oh. at this point. Oh. You know, you've wow. been here long enough. And, uh, yeah. Fancy. A beautiful... Um, uh, baguette style loaf with some jam oh, and, yes. and butter and it's great. like still warm and crusty and oh, oh so good man. yeah yeah the best yeah, i'll just start tearing in and i'm so excited about it that i would forget to offer to share with him <laughs> and that's okay i don't mm -hmm. i don't i've already had something so i'm good yeah. all right how about you elzaris what are you up to oh yeah uh she would have had i mean woken up downstairs holding her eye patch <laughs> looking for oh is that bread <laughs> <laughs> you see the remnants like the heels of a loaf of bread on the table oh you need more bread Oxardus. sure that it yeah maybe some, belt, maybe some coffee. I think it helped Ileana will go up and get some more bread. And oh. coffee? Yeah. And a coffee. And a tea? And a tea. <laughs> Maybe a <laughs> extra cup? Yeah. No, it's okay. <laughs> I, have, I have my cup. Okay. It's okay. He'll bring you one that's already blended for you, knowing that that's your preference. And uh, he will keep the bread coming. So as much bread as y'all are eating, he will just keep bringing out. A lot of bread. 
I think, uh, I think I'm going to go out today and see if, uh, I don't know. Oh. What are we trying to do out? today? What's our... I hadn't, I hadn't given it thought, but I, I think, yeah, you're right. We do need to start to come up with a plan. Are we going back to the, uh, to the dwarf city? Oh. Uh, uh, Minas Tirith. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, no, I want to go visit Minas Tirith. <laughs> uh, uh, so, Derek, uh, I'm like, oh, I feel like there's something really important there. And... Your horse is there, oh, right? Yeah, yes. Wow, Mr. Derek McBardson, oh, Bardson, or something. Ponyson. Uh, Guillermo Ponyson. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, and then, I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Victoria. <laughs> DM Shade and Chat. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I, I put. I put money down, but I eventually, and not too far out, I do need to go get them, or who knows what they'll do to them. Right. Right. You know, so I guess that now. begs the question, are, are we, uh, do we want to sort of save this Aboleth for a, a later time? Or do we want to, are we going to, I guess no. we would go through there, but we can't really. I'm not. I'm not too, uh, I mean, we don't have to go near the Aboleth, though, do we? Uh, I don't, well, unless that's we get lost again. We didn't intend to the first time. Uh, right. I I wonder if there's okay. another... Did your cat just open the door to let itself in? Steph. What is happening? You're <laughs> <laughs> a ghost, and your cat is opening closed doors. I keep it oh, cracked just God. for him to, to do that, so. <laughs> anyway. Wow. I'm so happy. Oh, my God. Um, I, yeah, I, I, um, wait, what was the question? What are we, oh, yeah, the, the Aboleth. I, I don't know. I'm not really, like, I mean, I feel like that it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty tough fight, and, um, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I mean, yes, I do want to get whatever memory it took from me, but I mean, I have to say I'm sitting here and I'm okay without it. Uh, I, I don't know. I think uh, I think we could probably something we can put a pen in. Probably. I don't, I don't think it's worth dying for at this point. I think, I no, think, no, absolutely not. I don't know a lot about these creatures, but I know that we've lost to less. Uh, so I don't right. know that we're ready. And it really pains me to say that. Well, and we'll have to come back here anyways eventually because, you mm. know, they're working on, you know, working on Pepino over at the college. Uh, yeah. <laughs> putting his little <laughs> body back together. I'm oh. sorry. That, the song that popped in my head funny. was so weird. I'm so sorry. That's, okay, this keep is... going. This is a serious. This it's is serious. So this is our friend. Serious. What? What? I'm sorry. I'm not being serious enough. I'm just. You laughed. Well, about them I... reassembling. Little Pepino. Because <laughs> it's no, nailed. it's 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 you know it's happening. I mean, I think that we can find some joy in that. It's it's actually being done. Um, oh, you know. I mistook. I mistook your smile. Right. I'm sorry. Right. Uh, that's exactly what it was for. You know, oh, like. We're happy, I'm happy that he's being, you know, brought back however long it takes, you know? Well, that, we could, I guess, we I guess the next like, question, uh -huh. are we delivering letters to giants? Oh, what's, what's our that, next that was move? something that we were going to do. The city is on the way to do that. I just feel like we, we just, we just did that and I, I don't like the idea of just running back and forth, but well, Jules, I, uh, is Jules, Jules is near us, right? No, he's, he's slept in. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. gonna say, yeah, I so said Jules. Uh, I haven't seen he Jules or really... Lenick this morning. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, Jules oh, seemed uh, really concerned that we deliver yeah. this. 
Yeah, I think I think that's noted. And then plus, uh, you know, we're we're going to be doing research for Oxardus' dad, I guess. Mm. Are we? Well, yeah, I why not? I don't know if we know where to look, but we can. Well, we can we can, we can try. try. I need to. Uh, I probably I think I want to stop at a bookstore before we leave mm. this town. Uh, I I think I need to get some research books. Maybe for that, but for the things too, uh, you know. Okay. Mm. I just don't want to fight. I I can't see out of one eye, so. Well, you're probably gonna have suck. to get used to that. Um, oh, gonna. I mean, you know, if you don't, I mean, if you put off fight, and then when are you gonna fight? Never. Mm. That's impossible. Azardus is not an option. You got this. You got it. It's fine. Uh. You're not the first person to lose an eye. I mean, we, we knew the, the, well, yeah. Well, I know there was that dwarf person that we met and, yeah, and, I, and she lost an eye. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't going to mention her since, Yeah, you know. she was weird looking. Well, she no, no that wasn't, too. that wasn't why I wasn't going to, I mean, you, you saw what <laughs> happened to her though. I mean, she, she got stuck in the coffin because of something. I, I don't know. And now yeah. she's. I, who knows? Who knows? So. Yeah, but but it seemed like she knew. <sighs> it was nice to talk to her. I'm glad. I'm glad that she reached out to you. Yeah, I felt, both had I felt cut patches. off from them. So why did she re reach out to you? Was it? I mean, why did? She, because you both have you both had eyes out. Because we're both fancy with eye patches. Oh, got it. So you guys were talking about eye patches? And yeah, no, no. Not it was, having it an was, eye? It was, I mean, that was part of it, I think. I don't know. Um, patron stuff. Oh, she had a patron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but she doesn't know who it is. Oh, that's weird. That's I know. That's strange. I know, and y'all were getting on to me, because I knew who mine was. I think I would want I to name. I thought you said you didn't. Oh, I know who, who mine is. But you what? were like... You were being a little coy about it. You were you were being weird about it. You were being a little um, evasive with information at first, Oxardus. But it's okay. It's fine that what's in the past is in the past, and... Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> yeah, she... A very sincere agreement from those artists there. I mean, <laughs> River River said it all. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I know you can't see them because everything's so dark back here. Uh, but so maybe I should go ahead and go over to the bookstore, and then uh, when Linick and and uh, you know uh, Jules decide to finally get up and grace us with their presence, we can. Uh, start discussing things where to go what to do oh, wait are, so are we taking her with her um are we taking her with us she kind of like motions it. over to you know the season's lady <laughs> <laughs> by the old day <laughs> you know the Maeve yeah, the one we, that changes into seasons are mm -hmm. we taking are we is she coming <gasps> with us I don't know, but I gotta go talk to her. I remembered. Oh, have a good time. Thanks. I, do you want me to ask if she's gonna come with us? Give her my love. No. That's hard for me to do. I don't think she'll accept it. I mean, she seems pretty accepting of things, so. I mean, I'll try. Sure. Cool. You know that was sarcasm, right? I mean, go have a good conversation, sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. Ask her. Ask her. If she's planning to come with us because I want. I want to kind of prepare myself if that's going to be if that's what's happening. Just because you know she has oh. such an exuberant personality, I just want to pre prepare myself right. for that possibility. Right. Right. <coughs> right. Uh huh. Oh, I have to link the other. Do you have something in your eye? Uh, is your other eye bothering you too, Oxardus? Well, Do it's hard to. Should we get Never some mind. salve for you today? Like, should no. we like buy something? You know, we. You know, I'm. I'm. I'll see you later. Okay. All right. <laughs> get up and go, cause Maeve's like Maeve's in the room, right? 
Uh, she is in. She's the sitting corner. over in the other corner of the room, mm -hmm. like she's right over here. Yeah. In like a flower chair. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. I like flowers. Okay. Yeah, that's where she's sitting. Okay. Uh, perfect. Um, so let me um, really quickly check. So, uh, Ileana, you are just heading out to the bookstore after breakfast. Is that where you're going? Yes, correct. Okay. All right. And uh, Derek, do you have any plans yet for after mm -hmm. breakfast? Uh, no, but I'll, uh, I will think about it while this is going on. Derek's going to grab a second loaf of bread and eat it. Okay, perfect. Sorry, I was... That's the short-term plan. It was easier to ask you guys to tell me what you were doing while I was fixing the tweet command <laughs> than try and RP as Maeve. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> I am there. I am here for you. So, uh, Maeve is just, uh, sitting in her little flower egg chair, uh, reading a book. Uh, so, Elzaris, if you want to approach, you can. Has her to-go cup. Mm -hmm. Or, no, no. She has the cup that, that has the coffee and the tea and mm -hmm. the parts in. Mm -hmm. Um, hey. Hello. Hey. Hi. Elzaris? How are you? Uh, I'm fine. How are you? And she'll kind of look at all of you uh, and be able to tell you had a, quite a fun night. You made it. Yeah, um, I think there, there was a lot of kissing involved. Um, mm, how fun. Last night, I think. Did all of you yeah. get to kiss all of you? Because that's amazing. Um, no. Oh. I didn't get to kiss Eliana. Everyone else did, though. Oh. I felt really left out, to be honest. Oh. I'm yeah. sure your time will come. And I bet it will be more fun when it does, because it won't be at the table with everyone else. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I, like, I like that optimism. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> you doing all right? Oh, got distracted. Mm -hmm. Um, that I had a had a question. Yes. Um, when you were uh talking about an eye thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, your, um, ailments. Yes, what about it? Is there any way, um, that, that you can fix it be before we go anywhere else? Oh, of Maybe course. I mean, today? yeah, I, it would need to be today. If we're not going to fight anything, I do have other things to attend to, so I need to, you know, get on my way, but I am happy to fix that for you. I just need to pick up a few supplies. Oh, perfect. Okay. Do I, do I need, do I need to do anything, or, or? No, uh, no, no, I'll talk you through the whole thing. Okay. Well, okay, I'm gonna, and I'm going to be out for it, right? Like, I won't feel anything? No, no, you're going to have to be awake for it, but, uh, I mean, I'll help <laughs> dull the pain a little bit. That, that's fine, but, um, just, uh, you know, understand that it's, it's a spell that you're not going to be able to afford, so I'm going to just help you do it, but you, I, you know. I might need what? your help in the future. I might need your help with Lennox in the future. I don't know, but it's really expensive. I I can sure. I can do your favor. Sure. Okay, great. I like I like yeah yeah. This this seems fair. Okay. Fantastic. As then, long as I don't spend money, this seems really fair. Yeah, no no. I I look. Money comes, money goes. I've honestly I'm tired of carrying it, so I'll spend it on this. so nice. Thanks. Yep. You're welcome. All right. Well, I'll do the shopping and, uh, I'll be back here whenever you're ready, uh, later in the afternoon. But let me know if there's anything else. Cool. I'll make sure to have a couple of drinks in me. Maybe that'll help too. Sure. Or do I have to be sober? Uh, no, you never have to be so sober. There is no situation in life where you have to be sober. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna, I don't know, go do something, but have fun doing I'll, something I'll see you later.
right. Bye. You and can I head can... back to the to Eliana and Derek. All right. So you head back so, to the table, yeah. Did you ask her about is she planning to go with us? Hold on, one more minute. <laughs> she... Oh God. <laughs> Eliana's gonna pretend like she's reading a book and probably like upside down. <laughs> like just looking over the edge of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like, what is this girl doing? Derek's doing uh, the same thing with a loaf of bread. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Elzarius will go back to me and be like, okay, I'm sorry, I forgot oh. I forgot to ask one more thing. Yeah. Um are you gonna be coming with us? I don't think we're ready. We're gonna fight mm. um, that Avalith thing anytime soon. Um, then no. You can call me when you're ready to fight it, if that's what you want. If there's something okay. else you need, you know, a promise is a promise. Um, otherwise, though, after I fix your eye, if there's nothing else, I'm going to go home. These islands are lovely, but well, you saw my friends. I need to take care of them. So. Yeah, they're really odd. Um, no offense. Look, I like oddities. Keeps things whimsical. Yeah, but there's a, you have a, a lizard. There's lizard people? You should get yourself a lizard. Is that what I have to, oh, okay. Get yourself a lizard. Yeah, she seems a bit much, I'm good. Um, okay, I, I will let, I'll let my friends know. Um, okay, that was it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, so what did she what did she say okay so she said um no oh okay well uh, because we're that's... not fighting an abolith and um but we could call her when we're ready to fight an abolith and then she'll come back absolutely and, uh, but she's she's gonna fix my eye oh good good and then she's heading back she's heading home yes uh, apparently um her group can't function with I'm sure they can't. I'm sure they can't. Okay, well, thank you, Exodus, for asking. I'm gonna go to the uh, to the book place now. Um, I'll be back soon. I, it won't be very long. I'm just okay. Skipping, just going that way. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. She'll kind of like <laughs> hurry, like out the door. Elzars mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> will turn to Derek. Is she okay? What are you doing? I'm still chewing a bunch of bread. I'm like shoving down the last pieces of the second giant loaf of bread. But okay, do 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 you want to go shopping or do you want to go like like go do something? Because I don't know when the other two are waking up. Where do you have anything you need to do? Shopping, window shopping. I like window shopping. Me, me, me too. Maybe I can you find. You never know when you're gonna get that castle I need to get the right windows in it. Oh, I love the castle. I miss mine. Anyways, um we should go shopping. Maybe we can find some like um dresses for me and dresses. Wait. Dress. Do you have money? I mean window shopping. Are we is this another heist? I could all my Atlanta. No, maybe. That, I don't know. I don't want to get run out of the city. Okay, then no, it won't be another heist. Oh, uh, let's okay. just go window shopping. We can look for, like, dresses for me, rompers for you, because the other one looks so cute on you. And maybe, like, a dagger or something that doesn't cost me 4,000 gold. And, mm, mm. um, like, potions that do something. I don't know. I, this is I like exploring large cities. So let's let's hit the town. Okay. And I'm gonna hook uh, my arm into yours, and <laughs> we're gonna go shopping. Okay. All right. So uh, the three of you head out separately. Uh, it's an awkward thing where you can see Ileana just a few, you know, a few hundred yards ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with Ileana. <laughs> Yes, Ileana's going to the bookshop. Okay, the bookshop. What is uh, she looking for at the bookshop? She's looking for um, any kind of text on uh, 
like, um... Like, good-aligned gods, perhaps? Oh, okay. Sure. Um, or good-aligned deities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, other deities that are similar to Torm, as well as Torm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, informational books. You or, like, it. historical. Um, okay. Would she be willing to go to... Um, the side of town that has the college in it, it's going to be a little bit of a trek, but she knows just having been there and from what Jules has said about the city that, um, you know, yeah. there's going to be a lot of, like, informational stuff. Otherwise, um, I'll I have you roll an investigation check. I think she'd probably be aware of Linick and Jules enough to know that they'll probably be sleeping in for a bit because okay. they do this sometimes. Yeah. So, she, yeah, she would head over to that side of town. Okay, perfect. Yeah, then I won't make you make an <laughs> investigation check <laughs> called out. I didn't know that Lennox and Jules are known for sleeping in together. <laughs> <laughs> it's canon now. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I think they have before because they've been working on the book. summer parties. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I feel yeah, like yeah. it's happened at least a yeah. couple of times before. Yeah, if yeah. they both don't wake up, you guys know that they they probably stayed up. Yeah, for like they've been yeah. reading. Yeah. Reading. Yeah. Okay, so make an investigation check with advantage then. Um, okay. Oh, oof. I'm super happy about that advantage. Um, that is a. Oh, that's a 10. <laughs> a 10 with advantage. Okay. It was a six and a ten, and I have zero plus zero oh, investigation. Man. Well, uh, I mean, you just have to pay for it. Uh, so you wander around, um, have some difficulty finding a bookshop that really has everything that you're looking for, um, okay. and you end up at the official academy bookshop, the bookstore. So you're gonna have to pay, nice. you know, official academy prices. But um, you do find uh, two books that uh, we'll describe to you different good aligned and neutral aligned uh, deities and um, and like what their followers do and just like general ide ideals and morals and, and um, perfect yeah yeah perfect. yeah um, so if you want the pair of books so one um, covers like the top five deities and the other one is more of like uh, the more obscure ones but it they go into more detail about them. Um, so okay. if you want the pair right. of them, it's going to be about, uh, I'd say, 45 gold for the pair. Okay, she'll take both of them. Okay, perfect. And I'll get you the titles on those in okay, a little bit. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Anything else you're going to look for while you're out? Uh, no, she'd probably uh, take her books and probably head back to the um, tavern for whenever um, everyone's back there and okay. just probably start reading them a bit. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. All right. So then I will... <laughs> I'm sorry not every city has everything you want. <laughs> to whomever <laughs> is privately messaging me in chat. Uh, all right, so Elzaris and Derek, what are you two up to? Weapons? Weapons. She to maybe try to find a, a, a better dagger than what she has in her offhand weapon. Okay, yeah. Um, I will say, actually, you are pretty close. Um, so Jules had gone uh, to talk to some of the weaponry people in Casadocia. So let's see here. Let's see here. Yeah, you're hella close. Um. It's not going to take you long to go um, to the Char Garden and get some weaponry. Um, so, are you looking for magical weapons or just like nice weapons? Both. Both. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So, just make an investigation check for me, and I will also let you do this at advantage because um, you know Jules gave you the run around town. Yeah. Oh, thank God for the advantage. Um, investigation, that's a 25. Okay, yeah. Without, um, any issues, uh, uh, 
how you find um, the Char Garden and you find a couple of different sources for weaponry. Um, what specifically are you looking for? Um, probably magical first. Okay. So plus ones, um, anything fancy, but is not going to cost her 4,000 gold like it did last time. Okay. You know, um, just trying to like up her damage game when it comes to that offhand. And Derek is uh, just doing that stroll around casually behind her thing, just kind of waiting and passing around. Okay. There's no place to sit. There's never any place to sit down. There's never anywhere to sit. No, you just got to walk around. Oh, I was like going to the mall. Okay. Oh, how is that? I haven't been to the mall in forever. Uh, yeah, so you find um, a couple of daggers. Um, you find uh, several people who will do silver daggers for you. Um, you find a plus one dagger, and you find um, one particular maker who makes uh, what he is calling the Blackheart dagger. Um, which. Oh, what? Yeah, it's called the Blackheart dagger. Are, are you uh, a little interested in it? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, Tasha's interested because it's Blackheart, but yeah. now Alex is. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> he's like, oh, well, uh, you see, this weapon will allow you to um, cast darkness uh, uh, as an action. Uh, you get to do it once per dawn. Um, you are not affected by this, and you may see through it normally. And... If you are in the globe of darkness created by the weapon, you have advantage on melee attack rolls, and the base damage of this uh, of this weapon is um, much higher than your average. So while it doesn't help you on the attack or the um, or the damage at the end, the amount of damage it does. Is much higher. Mm. All right, all right. How, how much are you wanting for um, you can have this dagger? Oh, well, uh, let me take a look. I will roll my ass for it. Let's see here. Oh, no, I need a d10, not a d8. Victoria, get your shit together. I was not prepared for a shopping episode. One, two, three, four, five. I had all my notes for all the all places you could favorite. go, but never for a shopping episode. So. Uh, Well, this one will do, uh, I'll give it away for about 2,900 gold pieces. And I'm going to message you super fast so you know what that damage is. Cool. Are you uh, interested, Lass? I mean, is there any way I can maybe talk you down just a little bit? I'm from out of town, and I'm not sure what being out of town. I'm out of town. <laughs> I hope so. Is, is, is there? <coughs> hmm. I would need a... I know you're trying to read. Okay. I would need... Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure you knew what it required a two-minute. Um, uh, he would need a, a better excuse than you're out of town to try and... Um, oh, yes. Um. Uh, Derek will uh, have been obviously hearing this conversation. Mm -hmm. And uh, he'll, he'll, he'll stroll up and uh, he'll uh, sort of put put his hand on the small of her back and be like, did you find anything? 
I mean, maybe. It's and, really uh, nice and, is, is the dagger sort of sitting out on? Yeah, the it's it's like out on a little velvet um, case. I'll say, oh, this looks fine. It's, are you sure this is what you want for your birthday, my love? I mean, I don't know. It has a really cool name to it. It seems to... Oh. seems to... do a little more damage than my, like, flimsy one over here, but I just don't know. Maybe that we could... can find something better. Oh. I don't think a name is that impressive, really. No one sees the name when you flash the blade at their faces. That's true. That is really true. Uh, how, how much does she want for it? <laughs> 2900 Out, out of character, how much money do you have? <laughs> do you really? Not telling you. Um, uh, I don't understand how you have any money. <laughs> Oh, you weren't here, Stephen. She sold. She went back and sold her dagger. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So now I have some money again. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait. Are you laughing at my DM or Vic's? Oh, I'm shit. laughing at you. I just don't understand how any of this happened. I'm so <laughs> poor. <laughs> okay. Oh, I okay. know. That's, I don't, that's by 10, right? I have the times it by 10 for yeah. platinum, right? Yes. I think yeah. that's yeah. 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 I, I, I have 600 gold. But I guess like, oh, I gave you all my gold. That's where it went. Okay. Did you know? Uh, I, I gave you a little bit. Okay. You did. You did. You did. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> I listen. You can't get that much porno books with six hundred gold, Ileana. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Back back to the RP. Uh, yeah, that's only twenty porno books. Okay. Uh, I, so I'll, I'll say I was like, uh, do you do you happen to have any favors that need to be called in, or any anything useful we could do to uh, get a better price, but still make it worth your while? Hmm. You'll see them thinking about it a moment. Go ahead and roll. You can either both roll a persuasion, or one of you can do it at, at advantage. Uh, I have a. Um, I would. I would offer advantage to. Okay. Lazarus. Okay. You want me to do it? I have a negative one. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was trying to not table talk it. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, God. Twelve. Twelve. Ooh. Can I keep it on the table? <laughs> of course <That's>... I rolled. <coughs> Sorry, that was funny. Um, I just rolled an eleven, for fuck's sake. <gasps> yeah. Oh, my lantern. Well, um, I guess if it's your birthday, I could I'd be a little bit more fair with the price and knock off about 330 gold for you. Um, but in return, if anyone asks where you got your dagger or if anyone is looking at your dagger, you just tell them where you got it. I'm really good at word of mouth. Trust me. Oh. You know. Now that I know where you're at. Um, and you knocked off that much for me. That I really appreciate. Because it's my birthday. I'm going to need to get more money. So, um, I'm a little, I'm a little shy. Do you have oh. anything else that I can maybe purchase now and then come back later for that? Cause that is, that is calling my name, but unfortunately. Uh, well, I have my silver weapons and, um, I have some that'll do a little bit more damage, but they don't do anything special. Little more damage. I like this. 
Sure. I don't think I really need anything silvered. Sure. Uh, well, these, and he'll, uh, or they'll um, bring out um, several. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> they'll bring out a, a tray of uh, beautifully made daggers. Each of them will be plus one, and they're two seventy each. Two seventy. Two two seventy. Yeah. Okay. Oh. She'll. Uh... Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. She would like to. Take out her. Where is my other? I you were say take out a loan. I'm like, this is not the place to do that. No, 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 no. She would like to take out her hex weapon, which is her dagger. Okay. Um, all, all pretty and dark, mm -hmm. um, as she's imagining it, or that whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, may I interest you in a trade? Maybe. This is really awesome. <laughs> And it smokes, which is intimidating, right? Um, the hilt has some really pretty uh, gold filigree, like in lightning bolt shapes. Um, it is intimidating. Okay. And if you would like to attune to it, you get some really awesome warlock powers. Will you just make a, uh, <laughs> okay, let me ask you a meta question. Is, is, are you trying to deceive him on how hex weapons work or is Elzaris just not realizing this is, does not work this way? Uh, Elzaris probably doesn't realize that it works <laughs> that this it way. Works. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. She's been very naive uh -huh. about everything, okay. so. Okay, um, great. So uh, you show him your hex weapon, and um, unless I'm mistaken, it's just a dagger with the hex qualities on it. Or like you've you've attuned to it as your hex weapon, right? Yeah. Um, so it's a finely yeah. made dagger, um, but there's actually nothing special about it. Um, no. You know. Uh, no. He's like, I, I could maybe give you a hundred gold for it. Uh. That's okay. I eh, no, not try. It just it has a really cool smoky thing to it. Um, I'll, I'll how about here? I would like to sell this dingy little thing, and I pull out my second dagger. Okay. What can I get for this? Oh Jesus! It's just a. Where's my player's handbook? <laughs> for fuck's sake. get like what five gold for that shit i don't know what gold i don't know five gold is five maybe gold. like five it's proper like, i don't know i don't know and no one ever sells it. their fucking let's see here uh where you go where you be at you get two gold pieces two yeah You give him two gold I mean, pieces to take sorry, your sorry, daggers sorry, off sorry, your hands? No, <laughs> sorry. I was removing it from my dancing thing. Oh. <laughs> no, I hand him the dagger. Okay. And uh, deposit the two gold pieces. Okay. And, um... Actually, while I'm... I'm Debating. Mm -hmm. um, could, could, could someone else go while I'm going? Okay. So uh, while you uh, are thinking about it, I will say uh, by this point, Ileana, you would have made your way back to the um, uh, the Honest Gorgon, and by now, uh, Lennox and uh, I almost called you Pepino, Jules. Um, Man, I don't know where that pull came from. Uh, <laughs> Jules are uh, are awake, so you can be wherever you are. So, Jules, where where would you want to be at this point? Uh, we're probably just palling it up, having breakfast, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just talking about philosophy. Okay. Time. Okay. You know, just the concept of time. Okay. The concept of time. What yeah. I had. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, um, Lennox probably would want to do this like at the table that Maeve's at, unless you wanted to be separate. And then. Oh no, no, yeah. Okay. Maeve, Maeve could be there. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, so Ileana, you would come in, and the uh, sleepy boys uh, are at the table with Maeve having a, a conversation by the time you get in. Oh. Is there room? Always. I will uh, join you then, and she'll kind of, uh, yeah, she'll just sit down somewhere and kind of probably like open one of the books that she got like in her lap kind of under the table and start reading it uh do you know where everyone else is uh no i left to go and get uh, a couple of books and um yeah i think no i don't know where they went to i mean we kind of figured that you and linick were you know uh maybe did some reading last night, so uh, we uh, decided yeah, to yeah. fill our time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, I Are guess. Yeah. Doing yeah. good. Are Having we doing a good? good? Morning. Are you? Oh doing yeah, I know it was a great morning. Yeah, I got a lot of rest. Great. Um, great. I mean, I guess I'll just, uh, and then I'm gonna psychically reach out to Lennox, or not Lennox, to uh, Derek and Elzaris. So, uh, hey guys, what's uh? Oh, that's right. We have going on. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'll be like, uh, we're shopping, and I'm like, uh, I'm <laughs> going to say this out loud in the store. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, uh, you guys. What are you guys doing? Are Are you awake? <laughs> <laughs> are you also doing it like, or are you just saying it out loud? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm doing it both. <laughs> Oh, okay. I thought you were only responding out loud. <laughs> That's what I was no, okay. I'm, I'm feeling like I have to talk like that. I forgot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, we're awake. Uh, are you guys almost done over there? Are you guys coming back, or should we come meet you? I, I think we'll be done soon. You know, you don't need to whisper. It's it's really... Oh. Oh. Is he, he whispering? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Oh, then I'll get sort of get right in. Oh. Right. Okay. Uh, she's about to buy some stuff uh, because she does that sometimes. Uh, okay. And, and then I think we're ready to regroup. We do need to talk to you about what we're going to do afterwards. So uh, uh, we should meet up and just do that in person instead of this head voice thing. Okay. Well, yeah, we're at the we're at the end. So just, we'll uh, we'll come back after this. All right. What are they doing? Uh, I think they're buying things. Uh, they were whispering, so... Well, oh. Derek was whispering, Elzaris didn't respond. That should be interesting. Yeah. I mean, there's buying something, nothing. Well, the last time Elzaris bought something, it was a 4,000 gold dagger. That's a lot of money. But, I mean, it's her own money, right? So, who is anyone to well, say? Well, uh, <laughs> you'll see Lana go, it, uh, yeah, no. It wasn't her no, money. it wasn't it her was, money. Mm -mm. Yeah. She bought it with someone else's money. She right. bought it. Well, I, it's not my business to say. No, it, mm. it's fine. We're all, we're all friends here. No, uh, she borrowed it from me. Uh, she gave it back. I guess she sold it, but. Yeah. That's a really fucking expensive dagger. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. What did it? Yes, it did it do any? I mean, it must have done something, right? Better fucking. Get your rocks off for four thousand gold. I don't think that we even saw it. See, so, okay. No. I mean, <laughs> no, I. So uh... maybe she didn't even <laughs> spend yeah, on a saying. dagger. <laughs> sure, she actually bought a dagger. I I, I don't <laughs> know. I saw her put some money down on the dagger, and then um, <clears throat> oh, and then she came back with my money. So. Oh, but she paid you back, right? Right, right. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, so she only has her money, well, and possibly Derek's, but... Oh, okay. It doesn't seem like it was frugal. Yeah. Um, Ileana's going to reach out to Derek mentally. <laughs> Derek. Derek. Ileana. Oh, <clears throat> hey, it's me. Uh, it's all this weird head thing. Don't say things aloud. 
just oh, think no, it in no, your me, mind. Me. No, just oh. think it in your mind, okay? Okay, I'm thinking in Don't my mind. respond. Don't respond to what I'm telling you, okay? Don't out loud. You don't, mean? Yes, correct. Don't can respond I, out loud, okay? Can I? Can I? Can I respond with the head thing? No, no, Derek. I'm not there to see any head thing. So just listen to what I'm saying and don't say anything. As soon as I say what I'm saying, I'm going to cut the link, okay? Not a sausage link. The link in my in from my mind to <laughs> You're yours. You're making this okay? more confusing, Eliana. Okay. <laughs> All right. Listen. Okay. Listen. Do yes. not let. Do not lend Exodus any of your money, okay? Why? Why not? Because she has she has money of her own. But she's she's always she paid Linux back, didn't she? She's a... She did pay Linux back, yes, after selling what she bought. What? So listen, just don't just don't don't say anything out loud. Just don't let her borrow any money. Okay? But can I can I interject with just a really brief story that you reminded me of? I'm playing Stardew Valley with my daughter who's nine, and mm -hmm. she wanted she wants to flirt with some boy on there. Oh. There's like a little romance in, oh, and she right. she bought a soda from a JoJo Mart, and she was gonna give it to him, and then uh and then she wanted money for a chicken coop instead or something, and she sold the soda can from the JoJo Mart. She said, "I knew that soda was a good idea." Nice. <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's amazing. That's nice. amazing. Sorry. So don't okay. don't lend just just don't lend she has her own money. Okay, just don't let her okay. uh, I won't, convince I won't give you. her I won't give her any money. Did you just say I, that out loud, Derek? No, I'm no, I'm still head thinking. Okay, you're still ahead okay. All right. That's All true. right. Derek yeah, no. right there. Yeah, I didn't say it out loud. I would have been more clear if I were doing okay. it. Okay, okay. But... Yeah, he would have said it a bit louder. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, all right, I'm cutting the link. I'll okay. see you soon. Okay, Bye. goodbye, sausage. Goodbye, sausage. Uh, so, so, uh, Derek, uh, will turn to, uh, go back up to the front, and, uh, and he'll just, uh, casually... Uh, set an item down on the counter. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, interested in selling? Uh, if I sell it, that Should would... Have been more clear. That would give me money, and that would make me intellectually dishonest. Uh, could I just, uh, I'd like to put this toward the dagger, please. Oh! All right. Well, uh, yeah. Let me take a look at it, and uh, hold on. It turns into a snake. It's um unusual for sure. That would uh make the stagger about seven hundred and seventy gold. And I'll I'll turn to her and say, "Happy birthday, darling." Yeah, it's 770 gold. So 77 platinum left. 77? That's all that you've platinum. got left. Yeah. Yeah, just to buy it. Um, yeah, she'll, she'll buy it. Okay. Okay, let's get out of my inventory. Okay. Uh, I just, seven... yeah, I just messaged it to you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And you see, like, because she knows, like, this was a little more, a, uh, oh god, like she had, she had, like, like the deal that he that she made with Linux is is so different than what just happened with with Derek. She's she's a little touched. She's she's like, thanks, honey. Saying, you're you're welcome. And then he'll lean in and whisper in her ear, he'll say, You're my best friend. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> tears, all the tears. <laughs> hey there, 
here, Rock Punch. Welcome, Hi. guys. Hello. Welcome, Welcome to, the, to hang out. To the proper body party. Yeah, or the proper feels. All right, so uh, unless there's anything else the two of you want to accomplish um, in this time, for the sake of brevity, I'll, I'll fast forward you to um, back to the Honest Gorgon with your with your purchase. She's just gonna carry it like this. So, uh, so what did you buy? Yeah, she got the there. dagger. Another. Oh, okay. I mean, Dean's could have made you one of those. Um, like no. eight hours. This is called the Black Heart, and it does way more than the last one did for way less. I'll be honest, I'm just going to look at Derek. Oh, that's... Wait. I didn't give her any money. <laughs> I say out loud. <laughs> what? What? El El Elzaris, you named your weapons too? I, I don't... I make... No, you named it? I named my weapons. I mean... My, or I named... My weapons, sorry. Oh no. I didn't know you had names. This dagger already had a had a name. Oh, okay. Um, Black Heart. Um, because it has the darkness spell attached to it. Oh, that's and, cool. Yeah, I know, and I'm gonna sit with it and get to know it better. A a AKA attend to it. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know, Tasha. <laughs> no, you don't. Let's, We're going to be the bestest friends. You know what? I will probably make this my main weapon, and, and my hex weapon will be my side piece. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. It's so pretty. Does it's your hex weapon have a name? <gasps> you can think about it. Um, yeah, I, mean, you know. chaos, I was just curious. Chaos Lady. Chaos Lady? <laughs> the Chaos Lady. <laughs> George. <laughs> That's your name. <laughs> it's Georgia. <laughs> Georgia the Chaos Lady? <laughs> no, Georgia. It's just Georgia. Who's the Chaos Lady? Oh, I thought, you said, I thought you said it's called the Chaos Lady and then you changed it to no, no, Georgia. No, 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 no. It's not called this the Chaos Lady. This is confusing. It's mm. not called the Chaos Lady. Yeah. It's the Chaos Blade. Boy, okay. Chaos Blade. I kind of like Blade. Oh, man. Oh, sick. This is, I got this at a Ren Fair. It's um, Lord of the Rings. Anyways, so this is this is now the Black Heart, and it's really pretty. And yeah. I can't wait to fuck people up with it. Righteous. Uh, speaking of, are we going to go fuck people up? Or what's our, what are we doing? Um. Right. Yeah. What are you guys? How are you guys feeling well, about? Who are we fucking up? We can't just like. No, we're not. Look. Kill? No, we need we're to have a, a reason. <laughs> yeah, we're not just gonna go looking for fights. Oh. No. Yeah, I don't no. really like that life. I just um, for all the like. But yet you bought a dagger. It's so pretty, Eliana. Do you not see? I how see it. Gorgeous. I see this it. This is. It's it's very pretty. Look at that line work. Is it? Sure. Yeah. It's 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 I mean, not it's, like wood color. It's black. It's, Just pretend it's black. It's kind of <laughs> wonderful. I mean, if you ever wanted me to make you something, I could. Yeah. I get those dagger? together. Really? What? Like a like a dagger that does like a lot of damage. That's what he does. Oh. I will remember this next time I try to go shopping for weapons. No. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't ask first, but look how pretty it is. I mean, it's not bad. You don't have to ask no. us. Um, you know, it's your money, just yours. Correct. Silence, well. Derek. <laughs> and I, I give, I turn around and I give Derek a big old hold, hug if he'll let me. Derek will give her a cat hug. Oh, cat hug, and then she will He'll softly. Purr slightly. <laughs> She'll just uh, softly be like, "Thank you, thank you." Oh yeah, you guys totally kissed last night. I just remembered. <laughs> I, that was a best I friend was. kiss. I just remembered. Yeah, it was no. wild. Oh, we look don't, at Eliana like. We don't oh need... shit! We all kissed Eliana last we night too. We don't need to talk about. Eliana, to kiss talk Eliana. About Eliana, you owe Eliana. me. You owe me. Wait. You owe Eliana, me. Eliana, we. Did, did we make out last night? 
No, we kissed twice, Jules. That's making out. Kissing once is kissing. Kissing twice, man. Yeah, the second time. It was. It it wasn't the worst kiss. Is he a good kisser, Eliana? Who? Jules. Jules? (laughs) I'm joking. Yeah, I'm speaking (laughs) in third person. No, Eliana said it it wasn't the worst one that that I've had. So last night. No, I. It was. It was fine. It was. So it was the worst one last night. No, it wasn't the worst one last night, Jules. Oh, she didn't kiss me. I no, I did not kiss you, Oxar. Would you like to kiss me? No, not. Not Why don't you want to kiss her? Now. Not, Why not now. This what? is it's literally the, what the afternoon DM. Yeah. Uh, yeah. no, you're like uh, you're about lunchtime by by it's this point. It's never too early yeah. to start okay. a party. Yeah, I I just don't think it's the right time. I don't. Oh, want we to... need to wait. Okay, so we need to wait till tonight. I don't tonight know. Mate, to what do you think? No, again. we're not we're not waiting until tonight. I don't. I'm oh, not right. saying that it will never waiting happen. For I'm sorry. But I'm just saying that I don't I don't feel like kissing it right now. I mean, you know. So later. That's fair. not later today, <laughs> just some other time in the in the future. <gasps> so it is happening in the future. Okay, okay, that's oh all my I need God. to know. That's all I need. I told that's you it I would. Need. That's all she yeah. says. <laughs> oh, she's <laughs> Derek Derek is going to raise a paw. Shoots me like a look behind her hand. <laughs> like... yeah. uh, Derek, do you have a question? We are we I thought we were leaving. Are we, no, we are here we're and are. making out, or are breakfast. we leaving? <laughs> I'm okay with both. To be we're honest. just discussing. We need to discuss what we're doing first. We're just all here together for the first well, time listen, since there last is, night. There's, at there's the club. one decision we need to make, uh, for sure, and Jules needs to be here for it. Who's kissing Elzaris again? What? No, yeah. let's, no, Who's kissing this me? Isn't, we need to talk about something serious. Okay. Okay. Jules. Do yoga now. Hi. Jules, we have a letter to take to the Cloud Giants. Uh, that seemed important to you. Do you think yeah. we should no, do this? Do you uh, think we should do this as a party? Do you think we should outsource this? No, we should definitely do this as a part. But didn't the Giants only met you guys, right? Right. Which So the question is, do you want to go with us if that's what we're doing? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to. Um, sure, they might like... Us. Did they like test you guys or anything like that before you went up? Or they no, made okay. us. They made us climb a good bit. We had to okay. climb. It wasn't often. that bad, really. Well, I, I don't climb, think it was so. a test. I think it was just how you got there. Yeah. Yeah. Them being giants, a bit. Uh, it's a bit easier, you know. Plus, yeah. I'm sure yeah. they. I think they had griffins that they that they used, uh, and they offered them to us too. I think on the way down. I think. Mm. Or am I wrong? Am I wrong? I must be wrong. The griffins were like part way up. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and well, some of us took them down, I think. Yeah, I so... Mean, I think, I think that would be great if we address that. I wonder if there's another way... I mean, I guess that there's not, or else we would have taken it instead of going through the creepy cave, but... I just wish there was another way to get back to the... Uh, you know, get back to where that side of the mountain... Uh, that side of the cave then oh. having to Lennox will pull out his map for you which uh, I sent in discord that your updated map uh, as well oh. as it's on stream um, great so uh, <clears throat> you all took one side of the mountain pass you know you can try and take the other side you can take the valley you can take the forest um, oh. yeah 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 but you now see the path that you took up and around um, so the little purple icon up at the top, that's the Cazadocian Pass where you are right now. Where it follows along the side, that's uh, along the coast, that's actually where Jules' hometown was before you doubled back. Okay, okay. Um, let me open it. I can just go really quick. All right, I'm going to look at a map, too. Uh, oh, look, there it is, right there. on. Yeah. No, sorry, that was really great. I said I want to look at the map. I look over at the Twitch screen, which is just a little bit behind. <laughs> it was a map. And Victoria is gesturing toward the map like this. <laughs> oh, <It's> really great! <laughs> just by I, chance. It's so right the purple, here. <laughs> so the purple yeah. thing is was where the the pass was that we went through. Uh, the purple thing. Uh, so the purple thing all the way up at the top is where you are right now. Okay. Um, so the the mountain section between the two like arches, that's the mountain pass that you went through. Okay. The majority of it. Um, oh, those are arches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like two okay. large uh, arches. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Um, so at the base of the southern arch is where Vogmaldir is, and then that sort of bluish-looking icon, that's where the last location of the Cloud City was, the giant Cloud City. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's, it moves, though. Mm -hmm, it moves. Oh, okay, I see it. Um, but would we know of other ways to go other than going through uh, the scary cave? Yeah, you would know that you can go through the valley between the two mountain passes. Um, you know that you were warned that that's pretty dangerous, because uh, you're, you know, it's you are in the low point instead of the high point. Or out in the open. Yeah. yeah. Um, you would know that you could go through the forest on the far western side. Um, it would probably take just a hair bit longer. Um, just because you're having to trek through the jungle, but um, it's not nearly uh, as as dangerous as the um, the I valley. I do the forest. I mean, I'm I'm willing to take an extra few days. Why don't we go right? talk to someone who can send a message to someone in Bog Valdir and see if they've seen the Cloud Castle. Anytime. Do you have someone that you can contact over there? I mean, you know people over there, right? I'm sure I would know someone who can, like, a messaging service, right? Some way to contact yeah. them all, yeah. all there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, there are couriers all throughout town, um, and you know plenty of people in Vogmeldir, including Graham Frida, so that's... Yeah. Yeah. Twitter, search, hashtag... Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Cloud. All right. It. Yeah, I think... Oh. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, uh, and just make sure we're like, if we go through the pass or if we go through the forest, we're not going to miss where it was last seen. Pretty much. Do, right. right. Do we know of anyone that can send a message? Can any of us oh. send a message? I'm. I I could send a message for you if that's what you need. Sorry, I was really into this book and wasn't really listening. Oh no, we didn't mean to interrupt your book at no, all. No, no, I'm sorry. I should have put it down. Uh, you need a message sent? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. But... Eliana, like, closes the book in her lap and is like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> are, are you able to send a message to someone you haven't met, though? Uh, ooh. That's I have that's a couple of options. I have a couple of options. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Like, to um, take care of, of my eye situation before we leave, just, just to keep y'all oh, all right. of y'all heads up. Um, that's okay. something else work that I've got to take care of today. I'm Other than that, really... then I'm free to go. Sure, sure. Yeah. Lenik, uh, dear, will you um, <clears throat> uh, change your face? Let me know who the person is that we're sending the message to, and then I'll be able to send it. And Because he has disguised self. So, uh, who do you guys want to send the message to? Probably the, I can't remember her name, the actual, like, leader of Vlogmadir, right? She would now... Oh, More you just so didn't you actually know. meet her, did you? I don't, I don't think so. remember. You met her, her beast keeper, and you met um, uh, some of her. Oh, you're right. Okay, yeah. then I guess Graham Frida would okay. be the next highest okay. person we know. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So you see Lennox uh, uh, transform himself with this guy's self into a uh, beautiful dwarven woman uh, in her mage robes and uh, give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, give Maeve the details, um, and she will send a message and say, all right, 25 words or less, what do you want me to say? You're just asking where the giants are? Uh, just say it's, um, I guess, just say it's Jules, and, um, uh, mm -hmm. like, hey, you know, hope you're doing well, have you, or, hey, hope you're doing well, random question, have you seen the Cloud Castle of the Giants anytime recently. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, so she will repeat that message with a little flare at the beginning that uh, this is Mabriel on behalf of Jules. Um, <clears throat> and in response, you hear that um, uh, she's doing well. She hopes you're well as uh, also. And that um, the last one known location of the giant castle uh, is a little bit more northwest of where it currently was, heading towards um, uh, heading 
towards the Devil's Waterfall. So that, then we probably would want to take the forest, right? Yeah. So I'm assuming the forest yeah. is the area west. That's what it west. seems like. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Jules, you would, looking, actually just make a um, an investigation check for me right. really fast. 17. 17, okay, yeah. Um, so you would know from Lennox, uh, once you start to get out into the forest, it's more hearsay, so Lennox doesn't have a lot of information on it. Um, but you would know that the um, <clears throat> the Devil's Waterfall is a, a large lake that actually is a, in a waterfall that goes down into the ground. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, on his map, it's that large lake that's furthest to the east that's kind of close oh. by the mountains. Yeah. So. Is it a popular spring break, spring break spot for all Ooh. the, uh, the students? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's a little bit further than than normal, but um, it's definitely a summertime retreat that people go okay. to for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll yeah. just explain it to the guys. Yeah. And tell everyone what's okay. Um, mm -hmm. Seems to work out then. Yeah. Okay. I think that would be a good use of time. Um, so, if that is how long do you need to uh, for your for your thing, the day? Or longer? Uh, probably just uh, the afternoon, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Um, but um, I really need to pee. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we should um, probably just, just head out in the morning. Sure. Can we talk about... Yes, that would be great. Okay. I'm going to go use the little girl's room. No. So, so as, Ella, as there is lies about why she needs to go to the little girl's room, uh, we'll go ahead and take <laughs> our break. <laughs> Don't you call break for me. I will call break when I'm ready. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we're just going to go up sorry, anyways. Mom. <laughs> no, it's sorry, fine. Mom. It's all right. I was just waiting until you guys got <laughs> your messages sent. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we're going to take a quick 10 minute break so we can refuel. We'll be right back. Uh, see you guys in a few minutes, all right? Adios, amigos.
sounds like a blast. Uh, Personally. Uh, hey, man, it's whatever you make it. <laughs> Let's see. We'll yes. see. All right. We're back. Let me, oh, let me start the music back up. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so you now know, <clears throat> getting back into it, you now know the location, the approximate location of the cloud giant castle. Um, let's see here. Why do I feel like there was something else that was going on that I've totally... Oh, Elzaris went to the Elzaris bathroom. And um, just looked at her dagger and then came back. She's been king for a while, guys. She's been gone for super long. <coughs> oh, Just, yeah. Sure. She probably like can't. She probably can't, like, uh, you know, get herself onto the, you know, latrine Holy. the way that she couldn't. Yeah. yeah, because she doesn't have the depth perception. I, I'm sure that's oh, probably that what it is. Oh, works? Oh, oh, I thought you were going to say she didn't have huh. the servants to hold her above the bolt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you probably oh, don't no. know about, about oh. her servants. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I haven't. No, tell me all her. about it. She had a lot of servants Ooh, from where she came from. That would explain a lot, yes. Possibly had some relations with one of them. <laughs> That's why she wants to make out with you. Oh, That's what I, I understand. Heard. Okay. Probably, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. um, I quit. <laughs> yeah, apparently don't, she... Don't put on a servant out here. It was weird, though. Like, the <laughs> other night, she just kept calling me the help like, <laughs> while we were messing around. Oh. It was pretty weird. That, I don't need to know about that, well. Jules. <laughs> if she asks you to put That's on a maid costume, then you know you're yeah. in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Azaris makes her way back. <laughs> Everyone's back. So red now. Oh, oh. hey, Gladys, you made it. Good. Good. Yes. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. All right. <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> I'm flustered. My Why are you are blushing? No one's saying that you are. <laughs> yeah. You have no idea what just happened. No, but Tasha does, and maybe that's why I. I Tasha's blushing on Ellen. Oh, funny. <laughs> um, okay, so, Exodus, you have the day, mm -hmm. and then we're leaving tomorrow morning for our excursion. Okay. Yes. So, everyone, get prepared, get your shit together, and. Uh, mm. We'll head out. Alright. Well, I can do our ritual, Elzaris, whenever you're ready. Uh, does anyone else have anything else to do today? Today? My goodness. Um, you need a third loaf of bread at some point. Dirk uh, keeps bringing that, that sweet, sweet bread action over. It has been uploaded the, or upgraded though to like a uh, a sourdough now. Morning was big at. Oh, now that's we're my like personal on... fave. Yeah, oh. yeah, they're on the sourdoughs this afternoon. Yep. I uh, Eliana would probably spend a lot of the day reading in her books okay. that she bought. Okay. Um, and then also, uh, she's going to write a very um quick note uh, and slip it under <laughs> Rodrigo's door. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Or, no, no, no. She'll, she'll go when she thinks, you know what, she'll go during the day, like, probably not too soon after lunch. Okay. Like, she'll write out the note really quick and then head over there when she thinks that he'll be, like, working. Okay. So he won't be there necessarily. Right. Okay. Right. And she'll she'll knock on the door and give it to his housekeeper. Okay. Um and uh, she will put it in an envelope and it will say Rodrigo okay. and she'll of course put her name at the end of the of the note and I will let you know what that says. Sweet. All right. Sounds like a plan. Uh Noted. Anyone else doing anything in particular besides Elzaris's eye thing? Um. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'd like to talk to Helen. Okay. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> so yeah, Helen. Never, sorry, yeah. Was, yeah. No. It's it appropriate. Yeah. 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 We can have Helen. Uh. Pop. Um. She's been around. Uh. You know, bringing stuff over, chatting a little bit, going back to the bar. Um. But. If you want to break away and go over to the bar to talk to Helen, you can certainly yeah. do that. Yeah. I'll, I'll just, you know, I'll 
I mean, uh, yeah, it was just yeah. like, thank you. Thank you for being such a gracious host and for being a wonderful company to oh. be around. Of course. Um, at any time, my offer still stands if you want to look into that, uh, that dragon lair. Just let me know and I'll give you the information. Is it is it close to here? Because we're actually headed over, and then I'll explain what our oh, trajectory is. Right. It's actually, um, supposedly, there's a, a way to get into it from underneath the city. From this city? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll mention it to my friends. Okay. Um, sorry, just a lot of stuff's happened in the past Look, couple days. It's been a little weird. I, I get it. Also, I mean, you know, it's not a rush i just thought i'd let you know you all seem like a capable you know bunch of people um mm. but also just be aware um there's a rumor going around town that uh some adventurers i don't know killed five people another person is missing and a yacht was stolen and then the charred remains are floating in the um in the dockyard. That wasn't you, right? Uh, it wasn't me. Um, All right. Well, that's good. I don't think it was them. That sounds kind of odd. Y you have an alibi for last night, right? For last night? Yeah. Uh, yeah, last night I was, you know, hanging out with Lennox, you know, for okay. a few hours last night. Okay. All right. Well. Studying. <laughs> That, that's good. Maybe keep a, a, a low profile until they, they find the, the culprits. I mean, it was yeah. it, devastating. It was mm, some of the big wigs uh, in town that owned that boat, so... And this was last night? It was last night, yeah. That's yeah, if you go down to the docks, you can still see it. It's still, like, the ship itself is still sort of burning in the, you know, just out, outside the docks. It's, it wasn't anyone you know, though, right? That was like... I mean, I haven't heard anyone else... It, it, it was described as a small group of adventurers, so... That does sound like us. Yeah. Uh, so I could see your concern. Right. Uh, but no, I don't think we got that truck last night. And, uh, yeah. Um, That's good. <laughs> yeah. That you didn't uh, get that drunk. All right, well... No. Every time I have tequila, I end up setting a yacht on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, uh, just be aware and... You know, have receipts if you, if you need them for where yeah, you work. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll talk to the group. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'll see you again before I leave. But of I just course. wanted to say, you know. Yeah. Fun and hanging out. With it you. has been enjoyable for me as well. So. And like, I don't mean to make it weird or anything, and I don't want to alarm you, but um, like, you have nothing to worry about. I just want to be completely clear. So if there's anything you want to tell me about the dragon lair, I'd just like, you know, if anything. Uh, okay. Uh, will you roll a persuasion check for me, please? Sure. I rolled the, I accidentally clicked performance, but can I keep the roll? <laughs> sure. It's just a digital roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just pulling up my bronze dragon stats. <laughs> my sweet bronze dragon. Yeah, and I'm, I'm being like completely honest. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. I'll um, yeah. let let me know uh, if you decide to go after it, and then maybe we'll think, talk some more. I mean, I just like if it's a personal thing, I can probably push it a little harder. Um. Uh, it's more of a um, an interest. See how well all of you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, up until now, I've been up to par. And, uh... You certainly have. Yeah. All right. Well, let me go run this by my friends, and we'll see. Um... All right. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. Well, keep me informed. Of course. And she'll go back to um, <clears throat> instructing Dirk on how to make this new drink. I don't know what it is, but uh, alright. Uh, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, so guys, uh, I kind of spaced out on something while you guys were out doing your, um, 
a lich battle, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I I wasn't allowed to battle a lich. There was a some sort of Danis ex machina prevented me from going. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really fight a lich ourselves. We were just kind of <laughs> there in the general uh-huh. area. But sure. Okay. Um, well, anyways, we there. there's um, and I'm sure this is going to interest some of you at least. Um, I was talking to Helen, and she says that there is a um, it's kind of like a, a a dragon's lair below the city, where there might below be like city? Some, yeah, where there might be some like treasures and stuff. Yeah, Are no. They green dragons? No no. no, no, no. I don't think there's any dragons down there. No. Oh. You don't want to go get some stuff from them. I not, do. No. Why not? Why not? You want to fight a dragon, Oxardus? That's not what I. I never I didn't say there were dragons oh. down there. Oh, okay. I've never so, but it's a dragon lair. Where's the dragon? Well, okay. I guess that's where it becomes a hypothetical thing. Like, is it still a dragon's lair if the dragon's no longer there? <laughs> oh, the dragon's dead. Like, at what point does it stop being a dragon's lair and just become a regular? You're the lair? one that called it a dragon's lair. Okay, so now because it's a lair. Really, what? It's just a lair. Yeah, it's just a lair. You said lair. no. You it's, said okay. dragon. It's you... an ex dragon's oh, lair. But who said that the dragon is dead? The last we tenant have was a dragon. I don't know. Like, <laughs> we have proof that the dragon's dead. Did they redo the carpeting? <laughs> yeah, they do. It's all new. Yeah, all new trim. New flooring. They refinished the floors. Hey, okay. If the we dragon's dead, let's go get it. Let's a go. plan. Yeah. Do I have a plan? Yeah, yes, we, have, no, tell. we have a plan to let Oxanus do her thing, leave tomorrow morning, Go through the the you know the the coast the woods to the floating yeah. city. Yes. That was our plan. I know. I'm just saying, you know, I forgot to relay this information to you guys. In nowhere does it work in going to a dragon slayer and possibly because I don't believe possibly facing a dragon because oh, yeah. I haven't seen any physical evidence that there's a dragon. How would send us to go fight a fucking dragon? She's, would she knows she? us. No, she would, she's been so wonderful. Nice. I mean, I don't know her as well as you do, so. <laughs> I, I know, but you could. She's very friendly. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> you see okay. Maeve watching just intently. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, thank you. Mm-hmm. No, but I mean, I, I think, think it's worth looking. I think it's worth looking at. And, I agree. And she's been so nice to us. Like this, she said I this would help her out. But we're not. We're not helping her in any way by doing it. She's just given us a, a, a worm to 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 go after. Does she want anything from this layer? Uh, no. She just I so she I can clarify lose, with her. I just want to run this lose, by you guys before I commit to anything. She That's doesn't it. lose anything by us saying no, thank you, not right now. <laughs> but we appreciate the information. But we lose something. Like there might be some cool shit down there. I know there could be money. Of course, there's I... and really fancy daggers. There could be some really cool shit down there. I mean, can I don't you imagine? care about cool shit. I cared about living. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. If we go down there and we hear a dragon's roar, obviously we get the fuck you out. You won't be able to get out in time. Why not? Why would you? What you gonna that, do? That sounds like a challenge. Uh, run away. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Didn't you guys fight a dragon? No. Oh, I thought... No, I heard you guys fought a dragon. We fought a baby dragon. It wasn't a full-size dragon. Well, yeah. What... When did you fight a dragon? You guys... <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I totally heard the story. You guys fought, you guys no, fought a dragon a with a little it boy. It wasn't a full-size dragon. you guys are dragon. still here. Oh, it wasn't a full-size dragon. It, it was not. I know. What I'm saying is there might not even be a dragon. There might not even be a baby dragon down there. <gasps> I would love to go get money. I'm okay with this expedition. No, after well, obviously, I I'm it. I'm going to be outvoted because Derek wants to kill something, and <laughs> the Derek. three of you, and she motions at Linux as well because she knows that he would be 100% into this. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, a dragon? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ileana, what's, uh, will you make an insight check for me, please? God. Killing. That's a Eliana, natural one. So exciting! Natural one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's obvious. Dragon's blood. Yeah. 
you're looking around and you're seeing the excitement on your friends' faces, and you look, or, uh, you see Maeve, and you see sort of a um, a kindred spirit where it's like, oh my God, what are my friends doing at this point? You know, like she probably deals with the same thing with her group all the time, but you know, she seems excited yeah. for you. Yeah. Yeah, Lennox has a type. Yeah. yeah he does so. have a type. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, weird babysitters. That's what he's into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. Um, you know, I mean, what, what are you? Okay, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm okay with this. I, mean, I feel this is a complete yeah. derivative from what we we just went over, literally ten minutes ago. <laughs> but the good thing is, is. You know, we don't have to travel far. It's below us. We're not going... Sure. Out. How much danger can we get in going underneath a city towards a dragon slayer? Yeah. That well, was a little Derek, sarcasm Derek, if even you didn't Derek's pick it up like, on it. <laughs> even Derek's like, I don't understand why there would still be anything good left in a place filled with treasure with so much so close. You got only one way to find out. Let's go. Let's. I. I say. Let's fix my eye. Let's go. Just look. Just look yeah, just around. Look. Just look. I mean, maybe we find. You know, like just a little look. See. No. Just a look. Just see. A like window shopping. Window shopping. <laughs> With like shopping a million pot. <laughs> Think about it. What if there was no, like a million platinum pieces? And it makes such if... a good story. Yes, and then you could get like a magical weapon. I don't care weapon. about the story. Do I look like? No. You read I a lot of stories. Holy I, cow, look how they read. I do read a lot of stories. <laughs> yeah. <you laughs> but not to those kind of stories. <laughs> yeah, I read books yeah. all the time. What are you doing? You do read books. What kind of books do you read, though? Like, like, because I just don't, I can't tell by the cover. This isn't the conversation that we're having right now. Right oh. now, we're talking about <laughs> what you idiots want to do uh, with oh. our time. <laughs> look. As in the other five situations that we have been in, exactly like this. Yeah. I will go to protect and to make sure someone doesn't die, or at least try to help if someone dies. And, you know, but it doesn't mean that I'm sitting here like, yes, I'm excited about this, but I will go because we're a team. We can also, like, you know, set up a contingency where we tell Helen, like, hey, if we're not back in this amount of time, you know, send some help. Yes! Well, look, Maeve, Maeve knows that we're going. She's right here. Yeah. I do yeah. know that you're going, yes. Well, t we can tell Helen, too. And, you know, the more, the like, the more people know, but not know. Yeah. Okay. So we have Helen we have Maeve. Oh, my God, this is, like, the best idea that we've ever come up with no Let's it's not go no <laughs> it's not the best idea yeah. we've ever come up with it's I mean, lower, it sounds, it, lower you know, five it sounds fun and we're helping lower five. and we're already there yeah you know? and guess what i have a new dagger that i've been like intimately like getting like i'm intimately you've been intimate with them? no it's not the word i wanted you had the dagger for not. like an hour and a half she did go to the and bathroom for quite a long time. time. Mm -hmm. No, no, she went to the bathroom for, oh, shit, for a bit. Oh, shit, she was in the bathroom for a long time. She was in the bathroom for a long time. Damn it. No, that's not what I yeah, meant. I'm trying to get... A ten-minute pee. I'm oh. you know, I've, I've, known, I've known people that have kind of, you know, <clears throat> fantasized about their weapons in this way, <laughs> and it's not... <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to get to know no, if it gives If it gives you happiness, then, dagger, then that's... So that's yeah. your thing um but you know i i don't think it needs to come to that i don't you know i mean you and jules do yoga so you have it's not like you don't uh it's not like you need to personify this i think dagger. it's so cute that you guys keep calling it yoga by the way i think it's just adorable that's, oh, i'm only calling it that because both of you call it that so yeah. well, we do do actual yoga but we also have sex so yeah yeah <laughs> Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, which hasn't happened in a couple of days. Um, 
Well, it hasn't well, happened been, for a lot of us in a couple of days. I've been so... very upset with a lot of y'all, but I'm trying to get over myself and grow as a person. Well, you're I'm doing so great. glad that you're, you're, doing, you're doing well really aware good. of your sex life. That's <laughs> great news. Great news. Um, so, okay, so when are you planning to do this, to, to do this? Tomorrow morning? Is Are we leaving for the Dragon Slayer tomorrow morning instead of doing our thing? Yeah, I mean, I can go ask Helen. It, what if it's like 10 minutes away? And we're only there for an hour. Do, do you and still hate the idea if it's 10 minutes away? We're not going to be there. This, there's no way that it's only 10 minutes away and we're only going to be gone for an hour looking at this dragon horde. Like, Let me go no... ask Helen. Let me go ask Helen. No go ask, go ask her. Way. I'm going to go ask Helen. Okay, so you go over to Helen and she says, Oh, well, um, the entrance that I understand it to be is uh, over by the docks, so... You can go whenever. I don't know how long it's going to take you to get through to the Dragon's Lair, but um, the entrance is here in the city. Got it. The docks. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to go over to Maeve. I'm going to say, hey, Maeve, do you know where the docks are here? Oh, uh, by chance I do. Why okay. Why do you ask? Is there any way you could teleport us to the docks? Oh, tomorrow? yeah, of course. Um, oh, that's, that's great. Yeah, that's no problem. Right. How... how how so, far does it uh, take to walk to the docks? <laughs> From where you guys are? Eh, a couple yeah. hours. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, no, we are not walking a couple of hours. Yeah. So, We've already um, walked a couple of hours across the city. Oh. Yeah. Well, I Why walk when you can ride, right? Exactly. Uh, yes. Riding is a lot of fun. Chill out, Oaks <laughs> Lars. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, let's, yeah, let's do that tomorrow. Look, we're going to get there super quick. Check out the entrance. If we if we have bad vibes, we'll we'll bail. You promise. Like Although, if we have really bad vibes, we'll bail. Like <laughs> the most extreme bad vibes. Yeah. Extreme. You know, I don't. I I wish I could believe you, but I've also seen people in this group. Well, some people who aren't in this group anymore. Well, not yet. But what um, are you saying? Some of us are gonna die. What? No, no, I'm just what? saying I've seen this one, and she points oh. to Linux. I've seen this one just, you know, with the, with the, what was it, the, a kind, what was that thing that oh, killed Pepino? The, uh, the Carnaloth. Yeah, when we were in his lair, it was a thing, they just kept going when they saw the, the pretties in there. Even right. though it seemed like a dangerous situation, don't right. you agree, Linux? Right. Uh, and then you see him sort of if a red tiefling can blush um, because he also was one of the ones that kept going to get things in the... Yeah, uh, I know. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I know. <laughs> so he looks a little sheepish about... Uh... Right. Um, so mm -hmm. just please be aware and don't be tempted by what you see inside. If you hear... If we hear or see danger, we need to be in constant communication with each other, which because we can, we have yeah. the ability to. All right. Yes. And we need to GTFO as soon as we start, as soon as things start, you know, looking weird. Fair enough. I agree. Because I'm not going to bury you all tomorrow. You're right. You're not. Because you're not. We're going to be smart. It's a little dramatic, but you're not. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think you need another, like, here's what we're going to do. We're going to celebrate after we finish this mission. We're all going to the spa. By going to the spa. And maybe doing another spin the bottle, you know? I've already been to the spa. I'm out in this city. You've been to the spa? What? Yeah, I've. Yeah, me? I've, I've been to, yeah, I've been to a spa a, a few I, times. I, I, I thought not we here. Friends. I haven't been to the spa here. I'm not, I'm not really sure how the spas here operate, but back in Vagmadir. I pretty similar for most I, I I thought I thought we uh, girls were like we thought we go do that type of shit together. Why 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 I mean maybe sometimes sure, but you know it's not girl time all the time. Yeah, but we had like that one moment in the bathroom with like we had girl talk and I thought that would just carry on over into other girly things, but I guess not. Well Wait, going to the spa is girly? No, like, uh, that's just what, like, girls go do that stuff together, don't they? Well, you I don't, don't, you just don't go with girls to the spa. 
Yeah, Lennox and I have been to the spa a bunch of times. Right? Why haven't have... I been to the spa? Well, Nick's been to the spa a lot. Ugh, that's not fair. Why did Why did y'all go without? I'll I'll take you. I'll take you. Don't worry. Okay. I'll take you. Okay. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go get a few things that we need for this afternoon. Unless you need anything else for from me. No. Nope. Thank you, ma'am. Of course, anytime. Gosh. Mm -hmm. All right. So maybe we'll head out to get the uh, stuff to regenerate your eyeball. Uh, it'll only take her about an hour or so to get it. Uh, do you guys want to accomplish anything in that hour? Uh, any of you not want to be there for the ritual? I, I would actually probably ask Helen to come over and talk to the group and okay. explain to everyone everything she knows. Yeah. You know what? Ilya's going to jog after May when she exits the building. Okay. <gasps> okay. Yeah. They're so going to go to the snap. spa, Elzaris. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're not going to go to the spa. That'd be so mean. Oh my god. Uh, all right, so Helen will come over and start explaining uh, the same. So she will she will start saying everything she's already said to um, to Jules, you know, so that you guys are like caught up on, you know, she wants you to go down there, just explore it. You know, they just found the the entrance to it. Um, someone has died trying to get through it, but they were, you know, just some people in town. Yeah. Um, so that is what they start with. I will uh, let. Ileana catch up with Maeve really fast just in case she wants to come back to this conversation. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, she's yeah. just going to just catch up with her as mm -hmm. she's walking. Do you mind if I if I if I walk with you a bit, Maeve? Oh, never. Of course, Ileana. I'd love the company. So do you think you you were privy on that entire conversation? Hmm. Um do you think I'm bit I'm being a bit uh, a bit overcautious? Am I oh. you know, sometimes I feel like the odd man out in this group and I feel like I'm the only one with a head on my shoulder sometimes. I mean, Linux, Linux has, Linux okay, but when it comes to, you know, shiny things, uh, he he tends to kind of go in their direction. Hmm. Um, am I am I am I being? Did I seem like I was being too overly cautious? I mean, you seem like, and I'm asking you because you seem like a very, and she's she's probably seeming a little nervous talking to her. Um, you seem like a very, uh, you know, uh, free-thinking, go-with-the-flow individual. Right. Uh, that's not really my specialty. Uh, oh, well, um, Ilana, you have to see that it, I think you're a very interesting person. Uh, we are very different, you and I. I enjoy... Right letting people get themselves into trouble and then I help them back out, right? Um, yeah. And and you like to try and stop them from getting into trouble is what I understand, but I I think we both are assessing the situation, so approximately the same. I would say that there is definitely some danger in going into a dragon slayer, whether or not the dragon is there. Sure. Uh, However, you're a capable group, and you are a capable woman, so maybe believe in yourself a little bit more. Okay, all right, uh, sure, sure. Okay, I can, I can, I can do that. So what, so what exactly is, is your secret to being hmm. so, you know, I... You know, just oh. going kind of. She'll probably like mimic a mannerism that she. Right. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you know them, Damien Aladrin. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know. Well, uh, after a hundred and a <laughs> hundred and seventy some odd years of uh, sure. life, and really every year ahead of me, if things go according to plan, um, you can't sweat the small stuff, as they say. Sure, don't sweat the small stuff. Right, exactly. You gotta relax. It this far? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's... The person you are today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I still question things, but I feel like I'm capable enough of a human being, or of an elven being, fey being, that... Sure. <laughs> I will figure my way out of any situation that we get into. 
so okay why not all right right so just you know just go in and oh we'll we'll figure it out it's fine right you're smart enough and when you're not smart enough your friends will be smart enough and if you're not your uh, mm-hmm. sword will be enough i'm sure 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 okay all right um i just wanted to get your uh your opinion uh I... you know, you... Since we have the opportunity, um, two things. One, I want you to um, enjoy yourself more. All of you, really, but particularly you. And she will pull out this beautifully embroidered okay. handkerchief and hand it to you and, and say, I'll let you decide what to do with this, but uh, this will help you um, have those spa days that you were uh, hoping for. Okay. All right. The other thing is, um, I don't know what conversations you and Lenik have had, but don't let me stop you. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I, uh, I don't, uh, she'll, like, start to, like, and, like, put the, the handkerchief in her bag. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you just got yourself the eight-hour spa handkerchief. It creates like oh, a yeah. It's right. like a yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll give you all the deeds, but okay, it creates a right. spa for eight hours. Okay. Well, I, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not completely. I. Okay. I'll I'll consider it. Don't be sure. embarrassed. Uh, just enjoy yourself, and if it becomes something, it becomes something. But if not, just enjoy yourself. All right. Okay. Good talk. Thank you. (laughs) She'll kind of start going back to the tavern. Be more confident, Ileana. You're a very strong woman. And she'll head off to go get... You too, Maeve. (laughs) As if Maeve needs to be told she's a confident woman. Okay. Yeah, she'll head off to get the uh, stuff for the regenerate spell. So you head back in um, to the tavern after that uh, brief conversation where Helen is explaining uh, what she needs and and why she's heading you down there. So uh, she's explaining that she needs the, um, there's a a signet ring that supposedly is down in this dragon's lair that will help end a family feud. And she would be like, she wants to be the one to, to find it. So, so, um, if all of you find it, uh, that would that would be my payment for giving you the information. That seems totally reasonable, and you know, okay. I I hope we find it. I do as well. So, um... does does that mean you're? Uh, one side of the family feud was down there? Oh, it's actually not my family. Um, it's, uh, and you can tell because she um, appears human. You know she's a dragon, but um, <clears throat> everyone else thinks she's a human. Uh, that uh, she's explaining that it's between two different elves. Um, so it's not my family, but it is, it. Um, it is something that would make things a little bit easier to get some, you know, logistical things done in the city. Got it. Yeah. So, you'd be doing me a favor. And really, I don't need anything else. Um, you've seen what I can do. I I can pretty much conjure anything that I need. I don't I don't need what's in that that layer. All right. Well, what do you guys think? I want to put my new dagger to use. But I know there's really not hopefully, to be like hopefully not. Hopefully we can not put it to use. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. ideally, just walk mm-hmm. in, walk into oh. a dungeon. Yeah. Sure, we'll just let whatever happens happen. Uh, I, and I'll, uh, I'll give sort of like a side eye glance at Maeve, <laughs> and just be, you know, I'll be like, 
I think if it were that easy, there would be nothing there. And I'm... I'm ready to fight. Sure, we, we know that, Derek. <laughs> no, no, I'm ready to fight. <laughs> no, we know, we know. I <laughs> put up my claws. Yeah, <laughs> like, you're, put your hand down. You're always <laughs> ready to fight. Usually they're we, tiger. We got it. Okay, well, uh, you know, so, yeah, we're, we're good. Does anyone doing acrobatics down there? They're gone. Hopefully. Oh. I know Lena could probably be like, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. All right. Oh, those assholes. Right. Uh, all right. Tumbling all over the stadium. I like that we all roleplay Lena when he's gone. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. The terrible Irish accent. I love I, it. I can't even. So. Oh, they took me Lucky Charms. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We have already established I'm terrible at accents. Alright. All right. Let's hey, plan. Get Elzaris and Eyeball. Okay. Uh -huh, yes. Number one. Huh? Tomorrow, breakfast. Most important meal of the day. All right. okay. And then, then, we're and then Horde. And then what? Horde. You know. Horde? Yeah. yeah. The the Dragon Horde. horde. I'm sorry. Oh. It might have sounded a bit... I, I yeah, thought we were going well. back to the... Is he there, Eliana? <laughs> Just in Eliana. case we don't get get back. You're a changed Forbes. woman. Can you like cover your mouth when you call? You know, just whatever happens, happens. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy talk. <laughs> this does not sound like no, no, no. one night of spin the bottle. Hmm. All right. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> and then we can celebrate by doing spin the bottle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, um. <clears throat> For the sake of brevity, unless you all want to accomplish anything uh, in the next hour or so, Maeve will collect the items that she needs uh, for the ritual and come back. Um, my question to all of you, though, is who is going to be there for the ritual and who wants to do something else? I'll, I'll be there. Okay. Yeah, I don't have anything else that I want to yeah, do. Yeah, if it's not a problem, yeah, Derek could. It'd be like, uh, you know, being a bedside at a hospital. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Derek could be well, there. Okay. Oh, my friends. Great. So, uh, Mavriel will come back uh, with the components she needs, and uh, up in um, probably in Lennox's room, she will throw up uh, Mavriel's magnificent mansion, so that you guys can do this in comfort. Uh, so you go in, and it's very much um, the the entrance and sort of center of her mansion is very sort of uh, Gardens of Babylon esque. Uh, oh. very Feywild uh, plants and things as she is in a ladder from the Feywild. Um, and she will have a table set up in the middle of the garden uh, for Elzaris to lie down on. And um, she will say, okay, so uh, you want to not feel this very much, right? Um, yes. Great. great. Um, can I, okay, so is this table set up to where it'll be comfortable to lay down on? Because if not, Elzaris is grabbing, like, pillows. And... Oh, for sure. It's more of, like, a chaise lounge that's elevated so that Maeve doesn't have to, you know, bend over because she's six foot four. So. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She just wants to make sure she's co she's comfortable. Okay, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you know, less pain is always better. I... It's my eye. Always. <laughs> here to fix problems and make you enjoy it while it happens. So, all right. All of you know the drill, and she'll turn to the rest of you. If you don't want this to happen to you, go ahead and resist it. And uh, since she's not trying to um, necessarily intoxicate the group, she'll go ahead and cast Euphoria at um, just at the regular second level. So, um, if uh, <laughs> if and if you want to be overcome with a sense of euphoria, you can have that happen. Otherwise, if you resist, I doubt it's actually going to do anything to you. Oh, but I geez. will roll. We should have been more upfront with what we were signing up for. Derek would have been like, oh. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Oh, you throw an eyeball? <laughs> yes, you get, you get an extra eyeball. Got to put my eye patch back on. 24, 25. Yeah, it's only 25 hit points. So, um, so unless... 
And if you're at 25 hit points, which I don't think so, uh, you can no. resist it if you want to. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, she, Elzaris, you will sort of drift into sort of this dreamlike euphoric state. Um, and the rest of you will see Mabriel pull out a scroll and sort of levitate it over Elzaris and just start pulling out these components. And um, which of you speak Sylvan? Remind me. Uh, I do, and I believe Ileana does, right? I think so. I I, I do I do think so. Um, let me just take a quick look here, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, mm, yes. Okay. All right. So um, in Sylvan, uh, she will kind of look down at Elzaris, and Elzaris, even though you don't speak Sylvan, you understand what she is saying to you. Um, and uh, she says to you in Sylvan, all I ask is for your gratitude and loyalty. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did I make another pact? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, uh... Mm-hmm. No, it can't be as as bad as my patron, so why the hell not? Perfect. And she will take your forearm and start tracing a sigil that is almost like a tattoo onto your arm. Uh, yes. And so it's, it kind of goes from, from wrist to the crook of your elbow. Um, it's really beautiful and intricate, and it almost has sort of this uh, glittery effect to it. I um, mean, it fades slightly as she finishes it. Um, I will say, though, that Jules, uh, will you make an Arcana check for me, please? Since you do know Sylvan. I'm sorry, I was distracted He's by chat. Busy I, was in chat. Chat. I was just wanting to my dear I, friend Katie in chat. I'm so sorry. She Are was saying Kate? I would make a good fish. I'm yeah, sorry. You, well, I, this is why I don't watch chat. Okay, I just need an Arcana check from you, please. Okay, I got you. It's okay. Because you know Sylvan. Oh, that was a well, fourteen. A fourteen? Okay. It's low for me. Okay, yeah. Um, it's not I a would high number. say uh, with a fourteen, <laughs> it's not a high Definitely number. Not. Oh my god, Steph, please. <laughs> this is serious. We're saving someone's eye. Um, yes, oh. Ileana. <laughs> I would say with a fourteen, you would recognize that the sigil that she is essentially tattooing onto Elzaris's arm has some of the same components as the Gesh spell, but not quite the same uh, with a 14, but okay. the general the general Got idea. It. Got it. Um, and you, of course, understood what it was that she was asking of her, and she's like, yeah. all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started, Lazarus. Uh, just to be clear, though, um, she won't be able to take this away from you, but at the same time, she might not be happy that you have it, so let me know if anything goes wrong in the future, all right? <laughs> okay. Okay. And uh, all of you will see, um, she will pull out some, uh, some sort of uh, sparkly sort of dust, almost like a gem dust, uh, and start sort of manipulating it in the air. And as the spell scroll starts to disintegrate, um, you see sort of the formation of an eye uh, form above Elzaris and she will sort of um, slowly sort of push it down into Elzaris's um, eye socket that currently has that sort of black ichor in it um, and actually Elzaris will you just make a quick wisdom saving throw for me please I can oh wisdom save is yeah. a 20 Dirty 20. Dirty 20. All right, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so you feel this sense of calm that's already over you because of the euphoria spell. Um, but as um, this replacement eye sort of fills that eye socket, uh, you can feel just a little bit of the Queen of Chaos push out of your of your soul. Her hold just sort of releases just a little bit. Um, 
and it takes you a moment and you blink and the rest of you see Elzaris on this on this chaise sort of um, resetting herself but uh, one eye is the uh, vibrant blue and the other eye has sort of this galaxy look to it almost similar to Mavriel's uh, cloak that she wears um, and uh, what's everyone's actually just make a perception check for me since everyone's sort of watching this happen I thought it was oh. going to be a constitution check wow. to see yeah. if we panic or bark <laughs> save constitution saving throw yeah, yeah, honest... <laughs> yeah that's what I meant mm-hmm. uh, wait, yeah, wait I'm sorry what were we doing perception? you were doing a perception check yeah out of 21 21 was three for Ileana. Wow. <laughs> Thirteen. She's ASMR three. Like <laughs> what? She's getting sick in the back. What was that? Derek I'm sorry, Derek. And I'm going to throw up. We know how that works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've been down that I'm, road. I'm going to say that Ilya is probably thinking to herself, like, how... Why does she have to be so cool? Talk about <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Why does she have to be so damn goddamn it. mystical? <laughs> Those fucking fae. Those fucking... <laughs> practically archfey beings. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So I would say, Jules, you would actually see that the pupil of this eye, this galaxy eye, is a little bit um, oddly shaped. It almost looks like a a sun with a little a crescent moon around it. Um, and okay. then there seems to be like a band around the eye, the, the pupil itself. Um, it's very yes. subtle. Um, if you're from far away, it just looks like a regular pupil, but as you get closer, there's certainly like a, a shape within your pupil. Um, and as Elzara sort of blinks uh, to life, um, Elzaris, you will notice that there is actually a pretty strong aura around Mavriel. Uh And you kind of bring your hand up and there's like a faint aura around your own hand. Um, but there were, everyone else seems to be, you know, just normal. You can see normally. And everyone's, how how is it working for you? Is it is it okay? Yeah, I can, I can see. I can Great. see again. That's um, <clears throat> that's not a normal eye. I, if I gave you a normal eye, I, she might be able to. Uh, affected so that particular one um well you'll be able to see the auras of those with fey blood the stronger the the blood the um stronger the aura oh okay that that makes sense why i see pretty colors on my hand uh, little pretty colors i thought it was okay right so yeah, as a half elf, yours is like yours is there. It's very faint. Hers as a half Eladrin, and half Archfey is like pretty freaking strong. So yeah, you're so pretty. Oh thank you. Ugh, yeah. There's so many colors. I have been told that. But thank you. But <laughs> I'm glad that the um, that it's working for you. Yes. Wow. It. Um. And what's what's the the. The thing. Oh. Can, can she see the thing on her arm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. pretty visible. I mean, it's it's a beautiful um, a pattern of a tattoo, uh, but it isn't like a you know a vibrant one. It's very sort of soft and um, and faded. Oh, that uh, that was just protection to make sure that everything goes according to plan. Yeah. Oh, cool. I, it's pretty. Thank you. I try not to do anything that isn't beautiful. And you'll see her sort of, you know, wave her hand and a mirror, a full length mirror will appear um, near the chaise. 
Oh. He's gonna oh go gosh. real close. That was a lot. <laughs> what is he my eyeball? Whoa. That was hard. It's perfect. Yeah. Is it? Can she tell uh, what you described to? Yeah. Actually, make a make a perception check for me. <clears throat> Perception, uh, 14. 14? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so you actually sort of recognize that it's sort of a silhouette of a symbol. Um, you've seen it over the last, uh, like, three or four months. Um, Lennox has been wearing this beautiful silk scarf that has this sun and moon sigil on it with a crown wreathed. And uh, you take a look at Maeve, and she has a very similar um, emblem that's like a clasp to her cloak. Yeah. So cool. I hope you don't mind. I personalized it. A little signature, if you will. No, it's, it, it's, I feel fancy. Because no one else has an eye like this one now. Wow. Thank you. Thank, wow, thank you. You're most welcome. I feel, like, lighter. Of course. Oh, she'll, like, situate her eye patch again. Because mm -hmm. she's still going to wear it. I mean. Sure. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Um, wow. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what else to, to say. Um, Anyone else missing any limbs? I'm in a regeneration sort of mood. I didn't see. Pretty good. Not yet. Wait, hold on. Uh, Ileana. Mm hmm So, I, remind me again, what was the deal with Rodrigo? He's just gonna stall them? Or does he still want to wing? Because... Wait, what? With Rodrigo. Rodrigo, yeah. What about Rodrigo? I, I, I'm spacing out. Were you supposed to give him a wing, or did we cancel that? No, no, we canceled that. Um, we decided that uh, we're going to wait until we're a bit stronger, and then possibly go and see what we can do over there. Got it. With Rodrigo's help. Got it. Okay. I was just going to say. So, I... you know, if you see any assassins come after me, just let me know. I got your, I got your back. Oh, yeah. Thanks. I'll throw you a heads up. But you know, not not missing a wing yet. <laughs> no, I know you're not missing it yet. I was just saying. Sure. If you yeah. were gonna do that, I don't now. plan to. No. Okay. Especially since you know. Oh, you don't. But. Yeah. I could if you told me. Oh, there's just something strange happening. I. It's we're we're going to get it figured out. It's like, fine. Like within you, there's something strange happening. <laughs> always, to... Jules. Yeah. Always. Um, no, I, no, I, no. With with possibly with the wings. Not really sure. Wait, is something strange happening? That's what I said. Like what? They're just kind of possibly turning black. Is that but, like a puberty thing? I no, don't... it's not. It's not supposed to happen unless, um, I just think that I've made some interesting decisions that some things are not liking. So, uh, we're, it's okay. I'm. Okay. Uh, we're going to figure it out. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's. I mean, you know, we'll accept you no matter what color wings you have. I you I that. appreciate that, Jules. I appreciate it. I mean, love is a strong word. Well, I said thanks, accept. Thanks a lot. Oh, yes, I am paying attention, but I can see now. Uh huh. Okay. Well, thank you, maybe yet again. You've been most helpful. Yeah, you're killing it, man. I... You're absolutely killing it. She absolutely mm -hmm. is. I... Mm-hmm. Well, so impressive. What can I say? It's a fun crew to hang out with. You don't... Thank you. ...bicker as much as my other friends. Don't get me wrong, I love them dearly, but... Yeah. 
Oh. You make it easy to do things for. That's very nice. Sure doesn't hurt that Lennox with us. Sure oh. doesn't hurt. But honestly, it sure doesn't hurt that any of you are here. And she'll just sort of, like, settle in to her, uh, you know, uh, because she's a, a fucking fae, you know. The flowers will create, like, a little chair in the garden for her to sit down into. Huh. Well. well. This is well. quite the, uh, the, uh, area that we're, that we, uh, what is this? Where oh. are we? Uh, this is, uh, my little traveling, uh, home away from home, if you will. Uh, you know, occasionally, when you're on the road, like you, uh, want to do as sure. an adventurer, um, mm -hmm. you want to have a place that feels at home, that, that feels safe, and that's what this is. It's a bit of a demi-plane, if, if you know what I mean. No yeah. one, no one can get in here. Yeah, a little mansion. Shut up! And she's gonna run off. Yeah, um, yeah. Exatus, she's just like running out into that. <laughs> Exodus used to have a mansion. Well, I think that she might still oh, have one somewhere. But I see. She's constantly talking about mansions, and we mentioned the servants. Right, right. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Servants here. Mm -hmm. She yells. <laughs> <laughs> unseen, yeah. there are unseen servants everywhere for you, Osiris. <gasps> you! Draw me a bath, please! And you, I need a coffee! Well, Elzadis, you are not, this is not your home. Oh, it's fine. It's one night, and if you're going to go fight a dragon tomorrow, or at least go raid a dragon slayer, you might as well enjoy yourselves. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> <laughs> Uh -oh. Steven's internet's acting out. Mm -hmm. No! I mean, uh, Victoria, fingers. yeah, your DM remembers what happened last time you were in a magic, uh, in a magnificent mansion, but, um... <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right, we did! We did I forgot the, about that. The... <laughs> there were a lot of kimonos, there was a who, massage whose train. Whose mansion was oh, that again? That was Lady Amara's, yeah. Lady oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And it was the best experience. Y'all had a great time. Yeah. yeah. Eliana had a fun time watching. Mm -hmm. Y'all have a great time. <laughs> she's, she's, you see Alex like running back with, <laughs> because of last time. It's like, look what I found in a closet. There's robes. Here's yours, Eliana. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to be. Just wear it. No, I'm not just putting on a robe for no reason. Please, please, I just got a new eyeball, please. please this please, is not, this please, is please, not. Please, 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 no. please, 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 please. No, please, I don't please. want to put on a robe. Oh. Why am I putting on a robe? Is there, is there a spa? Is yes. there a? Yes, they're, they're drawing the baths right now, I guess. It can be, if that's what you'd like. Dude, Jules is behind Eliana. He's already like getting naked and like putting on a robe, like just in front of everyone. Just, you just, know, like, Lennox already getting... has on his fancy, <laughs> his fancy robe. Yeah, I, I'm actually, you know, I'm helping Lennox put like the robe over his other yes, arm. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, okay. I yes. Eliana will take the robe and go into somewhere to change. Okay. Yeah, yes. you can duck off into oh. a little room to change. I'm so happy. She's tying that robe tight. Okay. Jules is not. Jules is very loose. Okay. Ileana, the queen of uh, sailing knots, knows that her robe is not coming undone unless she <laughs> so desires. It's not coming undone unless I choose to do so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. That is the strongest of knots. <laughs> you haven't seen a fancy or not in a robe no, ever. <laughs> no, that woman knows her knots. <clears throat> All right. Ileana, you and I can go to, to the spa thing now. Sure, sure. Yeah. Are boys allowed, or is it girls only? Uh, girls only. Yeah. But, you and, but you and I can meet up later for yoga. I may forgive you. I don't know yet. We'll see how I feel. Okay, let's walk. go and let's go and do this. We don't. Okay, let's. Yeah. <laughs> I'll start stretching now. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Just... Uh, so Mabry, I will show the two of you off to your own portion of this. Uh the spa area that she's created within her mansion and uh, then give, uh, then walk the gentleman over to the um, 
like the baths area so that they can soak if they so desire. Uh, Derek, are you doing anything in particular right now? No, and I, yeah, I would, uh, I'm basically just, I'll do whatever Jules is up to at this point. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So Lennox will follow you since, uh, um, Elzar has very much declared that it was girls only over in the... Girls only. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh... She hasn't had a girl spa day yet, so... Oh, yeah. Huh? Girl talk. Alright. So, uh, we'll pop over to the girls oh. then. Uh, some... <laughs> Mabriel will walk you, the two of you, in. Anything the two of you want to do in particular, um, besides enjoy the spa? Talk about anything? Enjoy the spa. Yeah. So how you feeling with your eye? Well, if they're fake. What you are? You looking like you can see something? Are uh, you? Or is this a new dance? I'm just really taken aback by the tiny, like faded little like colors around. It's really not that impressive. Um, but what? Maeve. what you... hmm. Is Maeve in the room with us? Uh. If Did you if you had asked her to you know for some privacy, she will absolutely. We wouldn't. We wouldn't ask her to leave. No. no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. it's girls. It's girls time. Yeah. yeah, but like Maeve is like a fucking rainbow, with unicorns oh. and sparkles. That's not surprising. Um, yeah, that's what I can see now with this eye. She'll, I mean, she could the way that eye patches is designed, she can still see like through it, but right. not like hundred percent. But she'll she'll right. raise it up a little bit, right. like. That's really interesting. Yeah, it it's a beautiful eye. It really yeah. is. I'm I'm excited for you. I am. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. I I feel I feel a lot better than I did before. I don't have I don't have headaches, so that's nice. Oh, good. Good. Um, I don't scare people. <laughs> not like you didn't scare the people before oh i thought well in my mind it did because it, it was really gnarly no you didn't scare me well but you're not like other people other people scare super wait, easily wait. oh i mean okay yeah you're like tough and brave and and strong and yeah okay you know. Th- thank you mm-hmm. i mean i you know you deal with us. So. You know, you guys aren't. Yeah, I, I mean, what What do you mean by that? You deal with, with our shit. Oh, well, you know, I mean, we all have shit. I. Well, everyone shits. But that's besides the point. True. That's true. Just say. We're a team, you know. What else? What else am I going to be doing? Just, you know, going off an adventure by myself. What's the fun in that? It would be very boring, and you want to get true. to experience mansion life. <sighs> I mean, maybe I could experience mansion life. Sure. Where? I don't know. You can meet someone that owns a mansion and be like, "Hey, can I go to your mansion?" That would work out, right? It worked I mean, out this time, right? It did. See? It, it did. It did. Just like it just like it worked out the last time. Uh-huh. Yes. The last time you were in a mansion? Yeah, that was a really magical time. So does this look like your mansion at all, Oxidus? No, this is very happy vibes, you know? Okay. It's very right. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's mansion, very it's like. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um well, you have never been to the Feywild. Uh, it reminds you mm, it's not so much gilded as it is uh vibrant and eclectic and very um it very much rem- reminds you of the vibe of those pony unicorns you ran into, yes. you know, earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Right. Right, right, right. Beautiful. So, it's really beautiful, but I'm sure you know, a, a little out of the ordinary. 
Yes, so remember how wonderful those um, ponies were with the horns on their heads, little pony uh, unicorns? Yes, the unicorns. That you was know, another... Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. Unicorn ponies. They're so cute. Yeah, we ran into a, a whole lot of them. We saved them. Just running around. Oh. Lost. So lost. They we were... helped them find a tree and a portal uh -huh. back uh -huh. to the Fae. Oh. Um. Oh, God, you're Fae! Did you miss ponies? Were they your ponies? No. Um. That's not something we normally have in the Fae Wild. You don't have unicorns running yeah. around. No, we have what? unicorns. They usually are by themselves. But not ponies. But not, not ponies. as ponies, and certainly not as a group. Oh, um, yeah, it was a pretty big group of them, and they spoke oh, to your shit. mind. Oh, it shit. did. It was nice they kept and lovely. telling me how beautiful I was. It was a little off. It was a flattering, oh, but... well, that's because while they live in the Fae, they are celestial beings, and they see and honor that in you, but, um, oh. no, these are an oddity, a rarity. I'm actually a little bit jealous that I didn't get to see them myself. They're probably oh, one of a kind. We all can't run into everything, you know? It was that truly an honor. <laughs> Even though Ileana was one of them, I was like, uh, but was like, no. why are we going <laughs> four days out of Every single one of you guys, every single one of you guys didn't want to help. I was no. the only one. <laughs> Those fucking four it, was, it was truly God. an honor to meet them. Okay. I was honored to help them out. Ileana, just super fast. Is that a deception or. Are oh, you it's absolutely. Yeah. No, I mean, no, okay. it's absolutely... Will you she's roll... trying to make herself seem better. <laughs> Will you please roll a deception check for me? It's... She, needs to, she needs to get what she can. <laughs> oh, God. I rolled an at 20. There's no way. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, there's one, no way. No. That, that's like a... I mean, I have... I have. Um, yeah, it's only... It's a 16 still, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a 36. Okay, yeah, all right, no. yeah. Okay, okay. So you see, um, <clears throat> she I mean, will not hide that look of like, oh, okay. To be to be fair, Ileana's not the most uh, glass coffin face, you right. know. Like, yeah. So yeah, it's and not a, it's not surprising. Maybe it's not worried about uh, the two of you reading her her um, expression. She's like, mm, all right. <laughs> well. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> Well, I hope the two of you enjoy yourself. I'm just gonna check on the uh, the gentleman, make sure that they're sure, settled. Sure, we'll, we'll and uh, relax here. then we'll have dinner, and then you can I don't know, fight a dragon tomorrow, I suppose. Yeah, and I'll be on my way. Okay. Right. Uh, so she will pop over to make sure the guys are set up. So Jules, Derek, uh, you are in like the hot springs. We're probably just having a pillow fight right now. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come back. We're going, oh, oh, and I'm like, oh, you got me. Just tickling each other. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. Okay. Well, I see you don't need anything at the moment. Uh, uh, sorry, babe. We got a little distracted. Uh, <laughs> that's what the pillows are for. That's why there's yeah. a pile in the corner. Yeah. Uh, no, this is wonderful. Um, no, we're, we're good. If you would like to join us, feel free. Uh, <laughs> there's plenty of sure. pillows to go around. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah. <laughs> join you in your pillow fight. All right. All right. This is great. Yeah. So, uh, as the ladies sit and relax and, uh, have the spa day that they, uh, wanted and deserve, um, and the boys, along with uh, their Aladrin friend, <clears throat> have a pillow fight in the the mansion, uh, preparing for the next day where they're going to go fight a dragon and or just raid its horde. I think maybe that's where we'll end tonight's session. Okay. All right. Yeah. We made yeah, it through. Oh Good my job. goodness. Oh gosh, could you have to you I'm guys? Sure that, I'm sure that went nowhere where you any we no. can talk about that later, but yeah. Nowhere for <laughs> for no. where where we were headed. But you know. No. That's okay. That's, it that's, that's life is a DM, right? When are you um when yeah. do things actually go as as planned? So Right. 
We made it. All right. Well, thank yeah. you everyone for hanging out with us. Oh my gosh. Thank you everyone so much for the raids. So no, sweet. So, nice. Yeah. so, so nice of you guys. Days. Oh my gosh. So many raids. Um, I am going to pull up the schedule. If you aren't familiar with us, uh, we play a lot of D&D &D over here on our channel. Let me uh, pull up the schedule. Um, so besides Sunday nights on Monday nights, Tuesday nights, uh, Friday nights, um, and then Saturday from 6 to 9, and then Sunday nights 10 to 1, we play D&D, &D, all different types of D&D, &D. um, you know, your after school special D&D, &D, your all evil campaign, um, quest hoarders, all sorts of good stuff. Of course, we're your proper naughty, <laughs> if you didn't mm -hmm. catch that. Uh, yeah, we're your proper naughty, uh, your proper naughty game. Um, and then on top as, of that... As, as feathers are like... <laughs> yes, up. as <laughs> we're having a, a feather fight. Um, uh, and then on top of that, on uh, Fridays from 12 to 3, we have Matt Art with the fantastic stuff here who uh, does some fan art. Uh, so whoever requests things, you know, in Discord, we have a poll and Steph works on stuff. Uh, I didn't ask you yesterday, Steph, but Steph, you any any plans on what you're going to work on this week? Uh, probably continuing working on uh, putting some color to the Tower of Dreams piece. Sweet. and on some older things since we still have older things in the docket yeah so. okay all right all right so working on some good stuff and then uh yeah and on sundays from two to five um we do something a little bit different we play board games um usually tabletop simulator occasionally jackbox uh, uh but yeah that is our week um that's kind of our week so i am pulling up let's see here who do we want to raid tonight let's go over to mercs yeah, let's go over and hang oh, out nice. with Mercs. So we're going to go read yeah. uh, Mercs of Mischief. And uh, so everyone, if you don't mind hanging out, go over and say hi to them. And otherwise, uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow night as Steph DMs the Forsaken at 10 o'clock. So everyone oh, have yeah. a fantastic night. And uh, we will uh, see you next week, okay? Yeah. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Have a great night.